Mowing you is easy cause you're beautiful. Huh? Huh? I mean, should I just quit right now and go start my singing career or what? <laughs> What's up, guys? Happy Monday to you all. It's me, HTG Brian, back with some Moen Mondays. Boy, the weekend was not long enough. I didn't do much, but I am still exhausted. Like, I just can't get right. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've been suffering with a bad back. And as a result, I've been popping those muscle relaxers. And although I've sort of been building up a tolerance to them as far as being able to like stay awake and function better with them, um, I do feel like there's this kind of like, you know, overhang or hang over. Hmm? So uh, essentially I I'm fighting through it. Obviously I, I can tell though, cause I've got half my caffeine down and I feel like I haven't had any. So uh, we'll see how this goes, but uh, what is going on with all y'all out there? Let's go ahead and say, Hey to everybody. I know that we're still sort of getting back into the rhythm of our stream. So people are still finding out and are uh, maybe not aware that we're back. I've been really bad about posting things, but to be honest with you, the way the schedule's been and trying to find time to do the free roam stuff and then also partaking in real life, um, there's a bunch of things happening. Like it's the end of the school year, so both Reese and my wife are sort of wrapping things up and have extra tasks to do. Um, I've also been trying to walk Drex every day. That's been a, a new goal of mine, uh, not only for me, but to get him out of the house more. Um, and so just time, time has been a factor. It's kind of crazy, but uh, hopefully we'll continue to be able to do at least Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, I've kind of toyed with the thought of maybe just doing Monday and Fridays, but, but again, my goal is to get it all done, but it's not like, like when I was doing other projects like Lego star Wars or Lego Batman's or whatever, right. Um, those videos are ultimately a lot shorter. These free roam videos are really large and there's a lot of them. So um, by no means a complaint, it's just before when I was doing the bigger projects, like you go way back to like even The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings and all those, I wasn't streaming at all. So it was just all day I had to do all that stuff. So trying to find the balance, right? And I've, I've always been a little <laughs> off balance. So uh, early notification squad today was Matt Rob and Chacho. What is up, guys? Thanks for being that early notification squad. We got Raised and Kirsten out there early as well. What's up, guys? Uh, let's see here. Scrolling down, I see Paige was here early as well as Vegeta. What's up? What's up? We got Entered, aka Noah. What is up, though? Uh, we had a little confusion. Uh, I was asked about Lego Star Wars TCS, and for some reason, Old Man Brian Brain read TSS. And so I was like, nah, I haven't done it. And he's like, do you have all the characters? I'm like, nah. I didn't. And so and then I realized, oh, TCS, not TSS. Okay, so my bad on that. Uh, it was kind of funny figuring that all out. And then we had another lapse. We won't mention any names. Priest. Uh, but that was good. Good stuff. Uh, Ben's out there too. What up, Ben? Good to see you. Um, and that might be, I'm scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling. I see a lot of names, a, little, a lot of similar stuff. Uh, let's see here. Brian, I miss you on Sunday. Yes. You know, Sundays will likely become a thing again, but I, I have to be honest. It'll, it'll likely be a, a few weeks slash months before we do. Um, uh, just mainly because summer is here and, um, listen, I'm not trying to get all sappy or whatever, and who knows what'll happen, but this is likely our last summer with Reese in the house. So, you know, we just bought a new kayak. We're, we're looking to get another one. Uh, we've got some places fairly close by that we can dip into. Plus, when we go to Eagle Crest, uh, which is only if, like about a month and a half out, um, we will, you know, we usually do the float. We just float down the river, but we might pull out our kayaks and kayak down the river. Now, here's the thing, real, real funny story. <laughs> like, we just got a kayak, right? Like, my wife and I have been looking for paddle boards, kayaks, and stuff for a couple of years now. And we sort of settled on the ones we wanted with paddle boards. And then, for some reason, like, overnight, my wife decided she didn't want a paddle board anymore. She wanted a kayak. So, um, the kayak she wants 
is a lot of money. Like it's over a thousand dollars. And it's very different than other kayaks. So there's not really a comparable one. And, and the way it's different is that it's sort of more like a fishing unit in the sense that like kayaks traditionally have like a shell, right? And you usually sit inside the shell and you kind of reach over the sides, right? This one has a like a, a, a little bench that you can sit on that's on top. So you're up higher. Now for me, I feel like with my bad back and stuff, reaching down is going to be way harder but I don't know. And my wife's like convinced that it's going to be the best thing ever. But there's not a lot of other kayaks that meet those needs that are in like the two or three hundred dollar price range to try it. So I finally convinced her to get a two hundred dollar one. It's actually really nice. We caught it on sale over the uh, last big sale weekend. And um, it, it, it's here. The thing's huge, though. It's 10 feet long. I, I don't even know. But anyways, we're going to try to. Um, oh, so. I got finally got the kayak. We're, we're talking about kayaking. <laughs> Did you guys see that video that's been going around on Twitter? It, it's labeled like the meaning of fear itself or something like that. And there's just this really calm, peaceful, first person GoPro view of, of a person kayaking, right? It's all nice and peaceful. A couple of paddles, coasting. You can hear like the water, you can hear animals and stuff. And it's just going and going. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm not even kidding. Boom! It gets hit. I, I, I'm not sure. I think it's a gator. I think it's an alligator. From the front left side of the camera, there's like this motion that happens really fast. And it literally tips over. Camera gets submerged. The panic ensues climbs back in person's completely out of breath from i mean i would be too holy cow um and then it's because they just sit there they just kind of look around just looking and they kind of paddle kind of paddle and then all of a sudden like serious paddling happens and that's the end of the video so i don't know if like the person got eaten uh, no, I don't think they did, but, um, I, I don't know, like, ooh, I don't even know what it was. I am not in a hurry to get my kayak in the water. Now. <laughs> Seriously though. Uh, but no, uh, we will return hopefully soon, Chacho, to, to, uh, the Sundays. And I say hopefully soon in the sense that like, it'll at least be after I get back from Eagle Crest. Um, and a lot of it will just have to do, too, with how fast I get this free roam out. So I, I've been trying to juggle this. And I actually have a video that I'm preparing. I've mentioned this. I'm about ready to jump into a contract. I got a really long $2,000 contract I'm going to take on here. Check this out. Um, 2,800 euros. That's like a lot more American dollars, too. It's like 3,000, I would guess, um, to mow a lawn. That's awesome. I need, I need this job. Um, but uh, I've got a video in the works. It's uh, our free roam plants. It's similar to a preparing for free play, but it it really just covers sort of the expectation. And the reason why I'm doing this video is not for anything other than just to kind of give you guys an update of what I'm sort of doing and going through. Um, you know, ultimately there's a lot of off plan. At least, how did I word this? I was trying to word this in a way that the video would make sense. So there's a lot of off planet requirements and those are different than the off-planet tasks, right? And so I'm trying to find the most efficient route with the off-planet requirements not being involved. Because we talked about this a lot. If you're on a planet, you're trying to do stuff, but you have to complete stuff over here first, it's real easy to go over here and do it as a player, right? Like, it's real easy to go over here. And then you're like, oh, okay, I'm done with this. So now whatever I needed to do to unlock over here, is, it's back unlocked. So I can go back there now. When you do that as a player, it's super easy. No big deal. Uh, for me, trying to explain, like, here's 100%. Here's how you do everything in this area. Well, if we're jumping over here doing stuff, that takes away from the 100% in that area thus leaving some questions if people aren't following along like let's say you've never watched any of our videos then you show up and you really just need this planet over here you already have this one done right but you need this one over here but you don't have it done because you haven't done this one over here which unlocks some stuff over here so it just becomes like so i'm trying to make sure that we do the least amount of that there's gonna be some i would bet money Maybe not, but due to a bunch of research that I've done, uh, some information that Tyler presented to me, um, and I've asked a few questions to some other people too, 
uh, that have been super helpful trying to figure this out. Um, and, and I and I think I've got. I mean, listen, I've I've already got one area recorded, um, and it was 100%. So so far, <laughs> I'm one for one. Problem is, there are. I, I did a rough count. There are 58 areas that you can land in, um, and, and that includes space. That includes space as well. So there's 24 planets. Um, and, and and to be clear too, that's just the planets. That doesn't include the the big ships because there's a lot of those ships that show up sort of randomly. Um, but there is some logic to those too. However, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions slash comments that the capital ships are not showing up where they're supposed to after this last minor update now i didn't even track to see what this last update did uh, i sort of checked the patch notes of the first one and it fixed a lot of things like ma's castle area where you, people weren't getting to uh, uh oh there's one right there i see two items way down there see how it's broken i should have been cheating before hey what up cosmic baller um but yeah so some of those cosmic uh, capital ships are not cosmic ships are not showing up like they're supposed so i, I and that's kind of part of why i've been waiting too because um, listen, I, I don't mean any bad things about anybody, but like, that's two updates that we've seen since the game is released, and it's actually fixed things, but it's also broke things. And, and like, for example, some races and stuff have changed times, right? So times that I got to experience before the updates are no longer available, and they've gotten way harder. We don't know for sure if that's an accident or uh, uh, if it was intentionally made really hard because it was pretty hard doing a few of those races anyways and then they made them harder that just doesn't seem right especially when you, you know you really back it up and you think okay it's a lego game it's supposed to be for you know all ages i'm not going to say it's a kid's game because that's not the case uh but it's for all ages right so that, that's a big difference kids versus all ages big difference but i still think that the difficulty should be mediocre at, at best and not like super hard hey what, what's that guy doing is he inside and i feel like i saw the final item way down on the end there is that it i can't tell if that's a post or outside the fence and i've probably run by it like oh it was it ha 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 uh let's see here hopefully it was a whoops because i'll never get to yeah exactly raise and, and i've gotten i mean you're not alone you're not alone i mean like it's crazy like i'm sort of upset there's part of me that's like really upset that I got it done as fast as I did because right now in its current state, there's a few things in our videos that do not match how the game plays. And so that's frustrating for a couple of reasons because it, first of all, it makes me look like either A, I did something weird or create faked it or something, right? Something or B, it looks like I did it wrong. And, and neither of those are correct. Right. Um, and, and we did it what was right at the time. And like I said the other day, they've never changed anything like that before. They've never moved a mini kit location that I'm aware of. And, and honestly, there were probably half of the Lego games that are out were out months, if not years before I played them. So all the updates and stuff could have happened, really, right? Like it, it could have been that way before, but by the time I got to it and by the time people were playing and watching it, it was it was not the case everything had changed or moved right so there is always that possibility seven to eight i just want to make sure i got my height right um so i'm hoping that those updates fix things but i but like the capital ships not being there like i i don't want that to affect how i do things um because i had a plan for those at least i thought i did and i'm not sure it's gonna work out i, I was gonna do those separately um, I know they're relatively small, right? But, like, people are going to be looking specifically for those. And although a lot of them are tied to certain galaxies, um, that's not always the case. Uh, and, and now I'm finding out that some of them just aren't showing. And, and there's a huge possibility of user error in some or all of these cases, right? Like, I'm not blaming anybody, but, like, I get, you know how many messages I get, like, I don't remember which level it is, but there's a level in LEGO uh, Marvel Superheroes 2. And 
I, just yesterday I got a comment and it said, man, thank you so much. I thought my game was glitched. I couldn't find da 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 da. And I was like, oh, and so I went to the, to the page to respond to that comment. And I looked and there was like 20 comments like, oh my God, you saved me. I thought my game was broken. This level, it seems to be glitched, but no, you fixed it. Da, da, da. So, so like, there's a lot of people out there that think things are broken or whatever. And that's kind of the natural state. Like if you can't find it right away or it's not completely obvious, people are like, oh, it's broken. You know, like there's never a, oh, maybe I made a mistake. And that's happened to me uh, even recently too, where I was playing and trying to do some free play levels and some of the things were not working out. Um, some of them were seemingly broken, but as it turned out, oh, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, but it turned out it was just a mistake on my end. Now, in all fairness, the mistake in this particular case, uh, had I had just a little bit more info, it wouldn't have been a mistake. And, but, I, but I'm not blaming anybody else either. It was just a weird scenario where and that's likely what the case was in this Marvel video that I just brought up, is that maybe it was like, you know, it seemed like it, oh, this is a funky spot right here. Uh, it seemed like it was supposed to be here or go there or do that, but it, it wasn't. I, and I, I didn't actually watch the video to see what they were talking about. But, uh, should be able to do them separate. Nice, yes. I, and, I, and I figured that, um, but as they do sort of uh, have spawn issues right now. I've been reluctant. Like I, I, like I am. I'm hesitant because the problem is, is that if I map out all this stuff that I've done, and I am right or close to, let's say I'm like 90% right, right? So there's a couple of missions that I have to do, off-planet requirements that I have to do that really I don't want to do any, but I have to. Um, what if it changes it? What if they? Ch because all they have to do is make one or two little box checks, and it could completely change things. So I I'm not trying to, like, I mean, like I've said, there's part of me that doesn't even want to do this because it's so, like, m m maddening trying to piece together all this. And, and I, I, the best way to say it is, as a player, it's fun, long, and tedious. As, as a presenter or a, you know, as a, as a guider, um, it's kind of a mess, uh, but like I said, with the help of Tyler P and, and the internet and a couple of other viewers slash helpers, we've uh, definitely got a few answers to things that seemed maybe not <laughs> answerable, but, um, and, and like I said, I've actually got one area fully done to 100%. It's all edited and ready for audio too. I just have not had the chance to cut audio with my grandmother's 95th birthday party yesterday um you know we were getting ready and, and present getting finding stuff to get our gifts packed and and you know you gotta gotta have easy packing and wrapping for a 95 year old right um and then you know just getting some food and, and getting out there and then doing all that we just had a busy day yesterday and then we came home i literally came home and the finals game was on so i just jumped right into that so, yeah. Uh, free roam was wild going to work on one planet, constantly ended up somewhere else. Yeah, and that's the thing, is that there is sort of a preferred unlock order. And, and like I just said, I don't think we got it right. Like, if, I, if we get to 100% on every level, based off what I know, I'll be blown away. I feel like there's going to be a couple of planets, though, that will have a couple of missions. And, you know, in the end, it, I will do my best to document it and work with it, right? Because that's all I can really do. But, um, you know, in the past, we've been pretty good about that. And, and, you know, again, shout out to the guide riders, Tyler P., Dougie Fresh. You know, they've, they've done amazing jobs at being able to track some of these things. Like, especially in the earlier ones, because the earlier ones didn't have the amount of tracking abilities like some of them did right like dc had the, the challenges that were scattered throughout that sort of tracked which ones you had and which ones you did it um but not like tss does and, and i traditionally do stuff like that too cosmic but as it turns out from what i'm finding like it actually doesn't work that way for the perfect unlock so like right now 
Uh, I've done uh, an area on Jakku. But next, I think it's the next one that I'm supposed to find 100%, I believe, is on Endor. So I'm not finishing. I'm not doing all three because there's three spots on Jakku. There's uh, the, the village, Twana, Twana Village, or however you say it. Um, and then there's um, uh, Nima Outpost. Wow, old man Brian Brain coming through. And then there's the space exploration, too. So, um, yeah, uh, there's definitely um, stuff. So, but, but I will have to come back for Nima because there are things that need to be done elsewhere first. And again, I don't have all of the box, like what the specifics. Um, I, I've just been gathering information from others and, and just taking the advice. Like I've got this crazy cheat sheet that's like, do this planet before that one. Because while playing that one, there was quests on this one that had to be done, right? So that's how Tyler was documenting it. He was just playing through the free roam. So that's why I feel like there are going to be a couple that that either A, he got really lucky on, or maybe B, like, because he wasn't tracking this at the very beginning. I think he did, like, I don't know, one, one or five planets before he started realizing, like, wait a minute, I should be tracking this for Brian. Um, and that's what he told me. He said, hey, I've got information for you. I'm not going to put it in the guide, but I think it'll help you with your videos, assuming you're going to do videos for free roam. So, like, he really knows me. He knows, <laughs> he, he knows, like, the things that will drive me nuts, and he tries to help find the answers, which is amazing. Like, it's crazy. It's awesome. Did you guys like my intro? I don't even know if anybody commented on it. I, I guess I missed it if you guys did. Mowing you is easy cause you're beautiful. And then I went into the do 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 do. Yeah, I went into the happy thumbs music. I thought that was kind of, you know, instead of do 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 do. Ha <laughs> What up, Greg? Yeah, you know, it's getting harder and harder to, like, come up with an original mowing-themed song. You know, because we've had a lot of them, you know, uh, a lot of them. And we even got a karaoke video out of it a while back. Shout out to Loki on that one. <laughs> but, like, every time, every Monday morning, I always, like, sort of, like, I'll, I'll just look around and, and, or I'll, I'll get on Spotify or... Sometimes I've even Googled, like, punny mowing. And there's amazing amount of songs that are, like, like, I don't know if they're, like, just fan-made or if they're, like, making fun of other songs, like, parody-type songs, or if they're all just, like, their own creations. But there's a ton of lawn mowing songs. Like, a ton of lawn mowing songs. Which is kind of crazy. I just realized, too, like, I'm probably talking really loud. Because I had the mower up. Like, it's one of those things. Like, when I play Apex, which I think that's the last time I used my headset, was on Friday. Um, playing Apex, I turned that up all the way. And so I'm getting here and, like, the mower's up all the way. Yeah, I, uh, it's kind of funny. This morning I was thinking about uh, yesterday at my grandma's birthday party, uh, right before she blew out her candles she told us a story about her 10th birthday. And um, it was it was hilarious. Like I mentioned earlier, she's just as spunky and funny and awesome as she's always been. In fact, she might be a little bit more spunky. You know, she, she has a little bit looser lips now. And I'm not sure what has changed. Um, you know, she, she's in a, in a retirement home now, so she doesn't go to church every Sunday. So I don't know if like, maybe that's, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but she was telling a story, and, and I thought about sharing that with you guys. But then I remembered, like, it was a while ago. It was before my grandfather passed away. Um, I was out at their house, and, and something had happened. And, and I think I took, like, a picture of them on the, one of their anniversaries or something like that. And I remember my grandma coming straight to me. I have all these cousins that are younger and way more hip and, and you know, in the know and, and, you know, social media presences and stuff, you know, like... Um, 
And she comes right to me and she goes, Brian, don't you dare put that on the Facebook. And I was like, what? what? No, what? What? I'm not going to put that on Facebook. Why would I do that? And she's like, I just don't want our stuff on Facebook. It doesn't need to be out there. And I was like, well, for what it's worth, this is a really cute fit photo, video, whatever it was, you know. And, and uh, But I respect that. I won't do it. And, um, and this morning, I fired up Facebook. My cousin Shannon has a story with my grandma on it. And I was like, what? And I mean, it's her 95th birthday. My grandma doesn't have Facebook, so she'll never know unless I tell her. Um, and and, and she, my cousin Shannon may have asked her for permission or something, too. Shannon's pretty awesome about that stuff, but um, I just thought it was funny. But I, I actually watched it this morning again because I was curious to see how good the, the video was. Um, oh, and it's so cute. She's talking about her birthday and, and how, like, she never had a real big birthday party. You know, she grew up a long time ago. You know, she's 95. You do some math on that. It was not the the greatest of times financially for things uh you know lots of stuff going out on worldwide and not the world wide web um and uh so she's like telling the story about oh yeah they had strawberry shortcake and all these people were coming over and and like it was all for my birthday and then and then she goes and then i found out the neighbors had just graduated high school so they were having a graduation party and they had just gotten engaged too so it was their graduation and engagement party <laughs> and then you hear my little brother in the background go why would anybody get engaged if they can't even buy a house like it's such a random statement but like uh which for the record my my brother does not have a, his own house yet and i'm pretty sure he, i mean he's been with this girl for a long time uh, i if he ain't engaged, I'm sure she's probably starting to scratch her head by now. Uh, but anyways, I just thought it was real cute. So she was like, oh, so it wasn't even for me. It was for them. <laughs> kind of a sad, but also kind of funny. And, and, then, and then my uncle was like, well, don't worry, Mom. This one's all for you. And she's like, really? No surprise birthdays? And like, I mean, she's so quick-witted for 95. Like, I'm serious. I hope I am even close to that by then five more years to get a signed letter from the POTUS yeah you know nothing for nothing but not sure I'm not sure she wants one of those <laughs> and, and I know in five years it'll be different but uh, I'm just saying I don't think she uh, yeah I, I, you know um when we were heading out there, my mother-in-law came with us, and she has a uh, a friend. It was actually her mom's friend, like a family friend forever, and um, she, I think, just turned a hundred and two. She said, which is crazy, but also awesome. Um, you know, and I mean, you never know how things are gonna go. I I, I don't want to predict or say anything uh, about grandma because I'd hate to jinx or whatever, but. Um, you know, she, she will likely outlive me. <laughs> she will likely outlive me, and I, I don't, I don't have any like reason to think I'm not gonna be around for a long time. But I just, oh man, she's just one of those few. She's like she's never ever. This is crazy. Never ever had any alcohol of any kind. No wine. No nothing. According to her, never even a sip. She got married so long ago. Never, never has had her wedding ring off once. The things like fused to her hand. Like she's just so unique in so many ways. You know, grew up on a farm way out in the middle of nowhere up in the canyon, you know, like nothing. Like some of the stories she has are just like mind blowing. I, I tried to get her to like her and my grandfather because they have such amazing like hunting and just like just happy ending stories with like you know people they've helped out or things that they've come across or just whatever right like those times were so different like we look back and like for a long time it was like oh I'm so glad I live in this age instead of that age but like now it's like man we may be missing out they may have been the golden era you know the golden girls oh I'm on to something born in 1905, I think. Dang, that's awesome, man. Old feisty stages, yeah. No, she's she's awesome. Like, you know, she doesn't... 
she doesn't really cuss or anything, but like some of the things she says are hilarious. Like, like she's at her retirement home. I think I've shared this with you guys before. She's at this retirement home and they've been having a hard time keeping staff, right? Throughout COVID especially, um, there's been a lot of, of, you know, people coming and going. Um, they keep hiring these chefs and then the chefs work for like a month and then quit like on the spot. So then they have like, you know, a couple hundred people in this facility that don't have food for a day or three or however, you know, they always have somebody trying to improvise and cook, but it's not the same, right? When you're not trained to cook for that big of people, that many people and that many different types and knowing how to take the orders and all like, it's crazy, right? So, um, they got a new chef and my grandma was meeting with the chef, just like, you know, saw him out in, in outside the kitchen and was just talking to him. And, and, and he was like, yeah, unfortunately, Helen, in the next week, we're actually going to have to go to like some more simpler menu items because we're getting some remodeling. Uh, and, and she goes, <laughs> how did she say? It? She says something like, uh, she goes, oh, the dynamite finally came in, huh? And the guy just looked at her like, what? She goes, oh, as far as I can tell, y'all got, you guys just need to blow that thing sky high. Like she just has the quickest, craziest, like, and, and I totally botched it. Like her, her, when she tells it, it, it's so like, boom, I just nailed. It's awesome. Um, you know, and she'll say that stuff to like the administration and like, she don't care. She just doesn't care. And that's awesome. Like, I think that's amazing. I missed a piece. Yeah, so she, she was talking yesterday about the, like, she's like, oh, there's so many people that have dogs, you know, and she's like, I love them all except this one. And it's funny because she's like so sweet and like you could just see her like envisioning every single one and then she just gets like all dark and she's like, except this one. She goes, ah, he's not allowed in the dining room anymore though, so that's okay, I don't have to worry about him. But he kept getting up on the table and sniffing people's food and he go around and of course the guy didn't mind it so he didn't say anything. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god, that sounds pretty terrible. I, I would hate that too. Yeah, it's uh It was it was a happy day. I love seeing my grandma. I, I don't like going to the retirement home, which is just right down the street. It's only like five minutes from me. Um you know, they, they do, like, a COVID check. Like, you have to get your temperature, and you have to fill out this, like, 20-page... It's not 20-page, but it, it takes, like, five minutes to fill out this sheet every time you go there. And I get it. It's contact tracing and stuff. In the event that somebody gets sick, they can kind of track and see who was around and quarantine the people that need to be and yada, yada, yada. Uh, I understand its importance. It's just really annoying. So I try to call her at least once a week and talk to her on the phone. So I hadn't seen her in a while. I just talked to her, like, three or four days ago. Um, and we were all caught up on, on pretty much everything. Um, but it's always nice to, like, you know, get a hug and, and actually get to see her. For those of you who don't know, at, at 15, um, I made some pretty poor decisions. And, and I was actually uh, kicked out of my father's house. And uh, my mother's house was not an option. And so my, uh, my dad sort of worked out a plan with my grandparents, and I moved in with them. So, you know... Grandma's extra special. Grandpa was too. That's true. Not every, uh, not every per, not all, every other old person is happy. So there's definitely a lot of grumpy ones out there too. <laughs> Towards the end, Grandpa was kind of borderline one of those guys. Still, still had it in him, and I didn't get the guff that like some of the orderlies and things did at, at the place. But like, uh, you know gets frustrating when you, you can't can't do the things you've been doing for 90 years or whatever. I, I can't imagine. I'm sure I'll be there before I know it. 90's right around the corner. <laughs> Not really. I'm halfway there, though. Halfway there. What? Ma, we're halfway there. Whoa. What, what, kind of, what kind of mower is this? I was hoping it was like a King's Corsair or something. Ride in King's Corsair! No? Alright. 
It would have been really cool if I really was halfway there. I'm only 28%. <laughs> All right, so last time I sort of didn't back up and re-mow those areas. And if you guys remember, I got penalized heavily for it. Now, something else happened, too. And I'm not exactly sure. Um, when I was reading sort of the overview for the roadmap on a trophy achievement guide that I found for this game, it said that there was a warning for the PS4 version that there was this uh, soft crash that would occur that would corrupt save files. And there was all this stuff about PS4 do this, PS4 do that. And to be honest with you, because it was PS4, I didn't really pay much attention to it. Now, if you guys remember, last Monday, right before we left, I upgraded my business, right? My warehouse or whatever you want to call it, my home base. And I also employed an apprentice and put him through his first week of training. And I was broke after that, right? And so, but then I realized I had an employee, but I didn't have enough money to buy a string trimmer and another mower. And so I was kind of like, uh-oh, I probably made a mistake here. This is probably going to negatively affect me. I fired it up today, and I realized I had a ton of money. I was like, what? That's weird. And then... I realized I didn't have an employee. I also realized I didn't upgrade my warehouse. So I don't know if I had a soft crash or maybe just all the things I did last week because I didn't advance a day or do anything special. It just didn't save it. You would think that if I hired an employee that that would be like a triggering effect for the autosave, but maybe not. Um, so uh, today I did end up repurchasing and upgrading my warehouse because I'm going to need a warehouse to park another mower and to place uh, another string trimmer. And so I, I'm i sitting good. Like, basically, it was a good, but that's I don't know if it was a soft crash. I don't know if that's something I'm going to have to deal with moving forward or if, again, if it was just like a procedural thing like, I need to complete a lawn mowing for a save to happen, and because I didn't mow, it didn't save. I mean, that's a possibility, too. Um, real quick, I am going to, uh, since I'm right here, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go park this guy, and I'm going to grab the string trimmer. But first, I'm going to fill up the gas, too, because there's no way... I'm able to uh, finish this without filling up at least once. So I figure since I got it parked here, I'll go ahead and fill the fuel. 293? So what is that, a half a gallon I was down? <laughs> oh boy. Reason I'm grabbing the string trimmer is because I want to um, not crash into stuff and take forever trying to be precise around these trees. And this is sort of a method I never did on the Xbox. And I'm finding that like it's probably gooder for me to do this. So, uh, and I don't know if this is going to help or hurt my overall completion time. But, yeah. So, hey, uh, one thing I'm kind of excited about, but I'm also terrified for, which brings up another like, whop, whop, whop. Um, State of Play happened last week. We didn't really talk much about that on Friday when we played Apex. I think it was brought up a um, couple things I just wanted to point out. I am, and I have been. I, so, okay, first of all, let me back up. You guys know I have a dog, Drexler. I love Drexler. He's my favorite dog in the world. But prior to getting Drexler, I was not what one would consider a dog person. Like, if I had to choose, I was by far a kitty person. For sure. Um... You know, I never really hated dogs or anything like that, but I've, I've had a few run-ins with some dogs, you know, as, as an adult and as a teenager, where, like, I was sort of borderline attacked just for, like, being at the bus stop waiting for my school bus, you know? Like, things like that. A dog got out, didn't know. I was probably terrified, but, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that he bit me and things like that, right? So, um, that all aside, I've been a cat person my whole life. And uh, there's a new game that was not recently announced. It's actually been out and about for a while. But it's going to be free, is my understanding, for one of the tiers of the new PS Plus. And it's a game called Stray. 
where you get to play as a cat with a backpack, and you get to trudge around and do a bunch of, like, uh, tasks. And, and, and it's my understanding, you're, like, trying to, like, you're, you're being chased. I don't know if it's, like, by robots or, or like, just bad humans, like, dog lovers, maybe maybe dog robots. I, I don't know what, what the whole story is. I've tried to keep it vague so that it's, like, not spoiled for me. So don't be typing stuff. Um, but I definitely look forward to it. I, I um, you know, the, the cyberpunk area that it's in looks really cool. Um, I have no idea how it'll play, if it'll be a long game or a short game, but as I've already mentioned, I'm an idiot, and I will likely purchase the highest tier of the PS Plus, regardless of my involvement of new or old games. I know that a lot of the games that are going to be free, especially in the beginning, are going to be games that I likely already have. Um, and that's kind of a bummer with buying games on release, is that they could always be released on these subscription systems or whatever um, later for free. But also waiting, you miss out on a lot of the opportunities and get spoiled and all sorts of stuff too. So there's like flaws, benefits, and, and, and I guess uh, drags to both as well. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, Stray is looking pretty good. So I, I, I hope you guys will be, uh, ready to join me on that journey. Now, there's another one. I can't remember what it was called. I just threw it on my wish list. Um, it was a little bit different, a little darker. Um, it was, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Callisto Protocol. There we go. Sonic Origins, obviously, is coming soon. Uh, what was the other one? There was one other one. Frontiers looks really good, too. It, it, uh, despite the fact that it looks exactly like Breath of the Wild, I think it'll be different. Uh, the quarry obviously looks fun, too. Seems like there was one other one that was coming soon, too. Can't remember what it was. These are all the games that I, I have thought may or may not make an appearance. And look at that. Look how long it's been. since. I mean, basically, this was as soon as I got my PS5, I found out about this game. And it's been on my, it says just announced, but I, it's been on there for a long time. It's the first one that I put on my second one. Hogwarts Legacy being the first uh, when I got my five. Uh, so, yeah, uh, definitely uh, looking forward to those. The Kalista Protocol, I don't know. I, I Looking at what I've seen, I might... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say, I might have to bring out HTGTV, but I think we'll be okay on that. I should fix this so it's not so abrupt, huh? But that Dismantle game looks cool that I got on my wish list. There's a few games on there that I'd like to play. Some of them are like more of like a one-off, kind of probably easy platinum type of game. And I try to stay away from those for a couple reasons. One, because I feel like it demeans my uh, value of Platinums. I mean, there's all these people that have like 1,200 Platinums now. But then you look at their list and they've got like a, a dollar game that they've Platinumed, you know, seven times or eight times because there's a PS3 version and a PS4 version and a PS5 version. And then there's also a, a European version and a, an Australian version. And, and they've paid a dollar and got this Platinum all in about an hour. You know, all of these have been done in about an hour. And it's like, okay, now you have seven Platinums and you did that in an hour. Like, I, you know, there's definitely some that are easy that take three, four hours, right? Like, I don't find those as... I don't know. And as I've mentioned, the older I get and the more time that goes on, the less and less the trophies are important. The more, you know, I play on Xbox, the less I think about trophies. I'm, I'm getting achievements and because I don't really fully love the way that you view and, and see your achievements. I don't really care that much. See, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's kind of deteriorating as time goes on. And it's, uh, you know, just, just an old man thing, I'm guessing. Literally, too, having less and less time. But that may change in the future, right? Like, with Reese not being around, you know, next year he's going to have a different schedule and he will be driving himself to school and going to work afterwards. So, uh, you know, my schedule is going to look very different possibly next year. Um, and then the year after that, I mean, who knows? And I mean, there's a reality, too, guys. And, you know, my wife and I talk about this often. You know, and there's definitely low months and high months where this becomes like a, a bigger or lesser topic of conversation. Like, 
There's likely going to be a day where Happy Thumbs doesn't remain my primary source of income or my job. Like, I may have to, I mean, especially with gas prices going up, I may have to find other ways to make money, whether it's at home or, you know, away. <laughs> Um, I've got, it's crazy, I've got a whole bunch, and I know y'all are going to laugh when I say this, especially if Nam was here. Nam, Nam would laugh really hard. So, um, I, I went to, I, I basically had two different groups of schools I went to. I, I, I grew up in Beaverton, which is just a suburb of the Portland area, um, and, and I went to, you know, a set of schools there. Elementary, I went my whole elementary there, uh, went to junior high there, and then I went to basically half of my high school career there. And then I moved down to Staten, as I already mentioned, uh, when I was 15 and I finished high school at Staten High School. So I have like all these people that I've connected with since I've been down here, uh, which was like, what, 94, 95? I, I think the end of 94 is when I came down here or 95, something like that. Um, so that's a long time ago. And uh, and, I, and there's the people that I've met and hung out with and been around since then. But then there's also the people I grew up with, right? So, like, those people are, are definitely more of what I would call, like, Facebook friends at this point. There's still, like, a handful, five or six of them that I do talk to regularly, make efforts to go see and, and whatnot. Some of them live in other states. And when they come into town, we, we get together and go to Blazer Games or whatever. Uh, been a while since I've done any of that stuff, but it does happen. Uh, but there's, like this domino effect that's happening with all these people that I grew up with that um, it's like it's like it's a virus honestly it is it's like it's a virus and it's just contaminating more and more people and what it is is health coaching and and it's crazy it started with one of them now I have six friends that have been you know and, and they're all shapes and sizes there's a couple of them like the the, the first one gorgeous probably one of the most beautiful girls of our class right um just one of the kindest nicest you know like oftentimes the popular you know really pretty girls are the mean girls this was not the case um you know and, and uh you know super nice to everybody got married had kids sort of fell off and 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 was grind became a health coach because of her friend who we went to school with and um and I didn't really know her that well. But anyways, she then sort of like started posting about stuff and our, our other friends started doing it. And then and now they're traveling all over the place. So they like go to Mexico. And I mean, every week they're in a different state or country and they do all these meetings and seminars and they just meet with people on the go. And they they have these like health regimens and like workout plans and all these things. And I mean. It's my understanding that they make like $25 per or $50 per meeting that they have online. So like if I wanted to do it, I could sign up and I would pay 50 bucks a week or whatever. And they would give me all these like health plan, all these things, right? And they check in motivational coaches, like any kind of access to all this stuff. Like it, whether it's useful too much, I don't, I don't really know, but they're having no problem getting their whole group. And it's in a way, it seems like it's kind of like a pyramid scheme. Right? Like, it really does, but it's a scheme that's for your health. And um, so the more people you have, the more money you make, I think. And, and uh, but now, like, like it, it now guys are doing it, too. Like, it's not just the, the, the women. Like, you know, so it, it's it's uh, it's interesting to see uh, how this has taken off. And, like, it's like the, the, the most recent guy that joined is a guy that I used to be really close with. Like, my, my uh, sophomore and junior years, I was, like, really close. Like, we rolled around everywhere together. Um, and so it's interesting to see him doing this now. And so, like, I, I, I've, I've been toying with the whole notion of being healthier, not because of this. But, like, this morning, uh, one of them posted a bunch of information about it. And it's crazy. Ooh, uh, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy our content. But, like, the amount of money that they claim to be making and the amount of travel they're doing like i'm not big on travel but my wife is you know what i mean so like um she would be phenomenal at something like that but we we still have uh, she's got a couple more years of obligation to fulfill her she signed like this contract a long time ago with the school district and it's like a kind of like you scratch our back we'll scratch yours type of a deal and it's like a 
I mean, the easiest way is it's like an agreement for tuition reimbursement. I, I don't know what it's physically called, but it's a it's a state document that allows her. So she puts in like 10 years of public service or something like that. She gets like a, 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 a grant or something to help pay for, you know, I mean, I, I, I think it can be used for whatever. But I mean, uh, we will certainly be paying off any remaining school loans or new ones because she keeps talking about going back for you know, potential administration stuff or whatever to just to continue to grow, right? Like, and, and then here I am still doing video games. So <laughs> again, back to my original point, like uh, it is possible at some point that I may find something else. Like uh, uh, there's a high possibility that this summer I will, uh, you know, maybe do some work up at the golf course that my dad sort of works at slash runs. Uh, you know, where Reese works and my brother Alex works. My brother Tyler used to work there. My wife bartends there in the summer and runs the carts and stuff. So, like, it's sort of a family affair. Uh, and it's fun. Get to see all the fam and stuff all the time. Uncles and cousins come through a lot, too, because, again, it's it's a nice place and, um, you know, family, right? But, yeah, so... Uh, who knows? I mean, I, I hope that they continue to bust out LEGO games. We've had a little bit of a discussion about future LEGO games on our Discord channel, too. And it seems like, uh, you know, there's a lot of confusion about LEGO Brawls. Like, a lot of people think that that's a TT game, and it's not. LEGO Brawls is not just like a traditional LEGO experience. It's definitely a, uh, you know, a, a, a different. I mean, it's, it's sort of like Smash Brothers Brawl or... I've heard people refer to it as Brawl Stars. I don't know if you guys are familiar. I, I haven't played enough. I know that, like, my son and his friends used to play the crap out of it, and they had a blast, but I don't know if there's any likeness to that game or not. Um, and uh, by no means is this a speech that, like, I'm tapping out or anything. Like, not at all. But there are, you know... It's just always it's always a lingering thing with the algorithm on YouTube. And I mean, of course, I had, uh, you know, I had an interesting thing, too, where I, uh, I I said something that didn't agree with somebody else on social media. And uh, and for a hot second, I was actually kind of worried thinking these, <laughs> these people were potentially going to, uh, you know, try to try to cancel. Right. Try to throw me under the bus and, and get like a petition going because that's like it seems to be like an American pastime now. Like you don't like something that somebody says or does, and you you get a mass group of people and petition them and and uh, try to get them shut down or removed or you know the, gone are the days of restraining orders or just like looking the other way, right? Like <laughs> it's all about like nope, I don't like them, so nobody else should like them. And I know that some cases people deserve not to have some of the things they have, but a disagreement I don't think necessarily should equivalent to that. I saw a video this morning. I don't know how new this video is, but um, of a girl in a Starbucks. Have you guys seen this this video of this woman in a Starbucks? I, I, I watched it. I'm not kidding. I watched it four times just trying to figure out what she's yelling. And it starts off with her saying something in the video that I saw. There's probably more videos or maybe a longer one. But in the video I saw, she starts off by saying something like, it's not against the law for me to yell in a public place. And, and for the record, she's yelling this, not saying it. She's literally yelling at the top of her lungs. And she says something like, oh, God, it's something like, does your family support you? Because there's no way you can live on these wages. So I don't know if she was like an ex-Starbucks employee or something. Or, or if it had anything to do with Starbucks at all and she was just there. You know what I mean? Like, Or if she ordered a Starbucks and the barista said something. But she's flipping out on these baristas. And, and uh, I don't know if it was another employee or just an innocent bystander. But somebody recorded the whole thing. And, and that's what I saw. And it's been going around on Twitter. I've seen a few people post and talking about it. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, name labeling, right? Like the Karen of the Week Award goes to, you know, and things like that, which I, I, I'm not encouraging hate speech or anything like that. In fact, I, I I think even like the pizza commercial where Buddy's like hey, making fun of him. And like, I, I think that's even like, you know, we can do better. Like, I'm not a softy, but I feel like the less we make fun of a bully and do things to people the, the happier place this could be right i mean 
you make a mistake, you probably need to get uh, for 35 cents. That was a lot of trimming for 35 cents. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that video is crazy. I hope it's none of you. <laughs> Oh, come on. Wrong button. All right, so now I should be pretty good to, like, you know, make some good moves around here. I still at the right height? Yep, okay. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, hey, let's get him mowing. Mowing on down to the least side. <laughs> no? Okay. I can feel your booze. The booze are strong with that one. Uh, no death. Twitter's good, thank you. Uh, Rube, what up? Sorry for my late response. I see you've been here for a few. Again, I wish I could like set my my max speed on this I, I i can by using the throttle but like when you have to mow for an hour on one year one contract like your finger gets a little bit tired holding that three quarters or half throttle position right because i can pull it all the way and it's com more comfortable but then i bog out and overload 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 Oh, yeah. So we went to my uncle's house yesterday for um, the big gathering for my grandmother. And he just lives about, you know, 20 minutes. He lives out in Monmouth. I don't know if anybody knows where Monmouth is. That's where Western Oregon University is. Um, anyways, they have a beautiful backyard. And it was nice for about an hour yesterday. And we all took advantage of that. We were out in the backyard hanging out. We barbecued and stuff. And um, my uncle has this fence that separates the neighbor's yard from his yard and apparently like 10 years ago they used to have two or three cats and they were they're friends with the neighbor on the other side of the fence and um the neighbor saw the cats always jump on the fence coming over to their yard for whatever reason and so one of them suggested they cut a hole in the fence post so the cats could jump through so it's kind of like a doggy door or whatever like a kitty door but there's no flap or anything it's just a hole cut in the fence well, fast forward, and no, neither of them have cats anymore, but the neighbor has a, a black lab, and this black lab is able to fit its head through this hole in the fence, and so it was like joining in on the festivities with us yesterday, which was hilarious, and there was multiple people that would walk over there, and she'd bring her ball and toss it through the hole, and then be ready for us to throw the ball over the fence, and she'd go catch it and fetch it and bring it back. It was awesome. And so it was funny because the neighbor had no idea that we were having this get together. And she'd let the dog out for a while while it was nice. And the dog came back in and was just like completely out of breath and panting. And she was like, what's going on with you? Are you okay? And then so she went out in the backyard to look to see if something was back there. So she'd been digging or something, you know. And uh, she saw and heard all of us on the other side of the fence. So she walked over. She was like, what are you playing with my dog? And we were all like, yeah. She's like, oh my God, it's so nice. So she hung out, had a burger with us. and uh, But it was like the cutest thing, seeing this dog stick its head through this fence hole. And then, boop, 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 boop. Then go over there and throw the ball. And, and it was hilarious. It was awesome. Drexler would have just been barking like crazy. He would have never shut up. Like, I love that dog. But that's one thing that we have not been able to conquer yet is his, like, he hates bicycles motorcycles i don't know if it's a two-wheel thing or if it's this I, I don't know like we thought it was the sound thing at first because he hates motorcycles but bicycles seem to be the same so it it's like he's like i don't trust it i don't trust it you know like i don't know what it is but um and then just strangers like i think it's pretty typical for dogs when they're at their home looking out their window or in their backyard if a stranger walks by, especially with a dog, you know, it's kind of like their duty to like bark at the walk bys, right? Like, I feel like that's kind of a thing. So, but, but he checks out and you cannot get through to him for a couple, two, three minutes until those people are long gone out of sight. And like, you'll be like, Drax, 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 hey, hey, you want a treat? You know, like, 
I've actually abused it a few times. I can say, MOM's home. And he'll be like, what? And sometimes he'll respond to that. But I think it's like one out of 10 times he'll respond to that even. He just checks out. And so like a year and a half ago, my wife was like, all right, we need to get an e-collar. I really don't want to. Like we've been worried about any kind of like, a, I don't want to say abuse, but like aggressive reinforcement, right? Shock collars. Um, they have the pinch collars. Uh, they have like, you know, all these different methods. Uh, we don't ever yell at him and, and we've never used him because he's a rescue dog and he suffered a lot of trauma. And, and so we want that trust to be good with us. But so we bought it. We bought this like $200 collar, still not even out of the box yet. And so my wife's been telling me that for the last week or two uh, that we're going to really put that into use. And um, we had this person that, that we were going to have help train that was really into the, the e-collars. And they've shifted gears completely. And, uh, you know, Drexler knew this person and because and, we had a couple sessions. And uh, so we were excited to, like, get back involved with that. But now they've changed their program completely and they don't do any kind of e-collar training or any other training other than, um, I don't remember the term for it, but like, instead of having a dish to feed your animal, the all of the food feeding takes place um, by hand. So like, you will literally like go on a walk and reward with the food. So you're not giving like high value stuff, you're just giving like, standard every day and, and, and so you build up this sort of like it's a weird thing it, it's sort of primitive in a way because you build up this this constant of the, the dog realizing it needs you to eat right like it cannot eat without your you know because by putting it in the bowl although you still need to do that it doesn't recognize that or, 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 or and I might not be explaining it in the best way but that's essentially the uh, the methodology behind it. You're creating a, uh, a dominance and dependence without any kind of aggressive or negative, you know, punishments or anything, right? So, but it's like best suited for like young puppies and like first time learners, right? Not three year olds. And not that an old dog can't learn new tricks, but it's just one of those things, you know? So now we're kind of back to the chopping block of like who we want to go to. We found this place that we liked that was recommended to us by a friend, but then we found out they use those the uh, the pinch collars, and they have like these weird spike things. They're supposed to be plastic and they don't puncture, but like they just remind me of something like that I've seen in like photos of like dog fight stuff. You know, like when a when a a ring has been like it's just it just looks very medieval and torturous to me and. And so my wife's like, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Boy, I almost get to break out. Oh, and I guess it's kind of random that I decided to break into a Bon Jovi song. I, I did hear that uh, one of the original members, I, I, I'm bad with names with 80s rock bands, but um, I, 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 I do believe that one of the original founding members passed away in the last week or so. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's a, it's like a popular thing now, Ray. It's like, and, and, and this person is not the only person doing it. Um, there's a couple of other outfits locally. So I don't know if it's like a trend hitting our area or, you know, and, and like we've seen other people on like YouTube, uh, you know, do it too. And, and, you know, all of the big guys have covered it because we, we watch a couple of them. There's, um, now I can't remember. There, what is this? Is it Cervantes? Or, No. I can't remember his last name. There, there's a Hispanic guy who's like the dog whisperer, um, does amazing things. And he's shown that that's a thing. Like we've, we've seen, and then there's also, um, God, I can't think of his name either. Total old man, Brian brain strikes again. Uh, I want to say George something, um, you know, but, but they don't, again, like a lot of those are just options that they choose to do. But most of the recommendations are from pup. You know, and then eventually, once everything is secured, like you throw the food in the bowl, right? Like it's not a lifetime thing. Like, you, 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 but I mean, it's a commitment. And, and I guess Jillian was doing it for like a month last summer, and she was like, "I could see the difference immediately." And I was like, "Really?" Because I don't even remember you doing it, let alone seeing any changes. 
So, uh, not not to throw that idea or concept under the bus or anything, but I I don't I don't know what's gonna be best, you know. But we got like this really awesome e collar, and it's supposed to be great. Uh, Kata, ooh, is it Katarzyna? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Um, the one that we got has like it's ridiculous. I think it has two hundred levels of shock. And it's got like 50 levels of buzz. And so like, I mean, the hardest shock is still like, but I mean, it, it, I don't know. It seems like you could probably get away with like 10 levels or something like that. But you can literally, it's got like, or maybe it's one to a hundred or so. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of control. But my wife can't figure it out, she says. And I haven't looked at it. She said, I read the manual and it's super confusing. And there's like videos out there of people doing stuff like actually, but I, I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to set it. So sounds like I'm going to have to get involved. No, I don't know what I'm doing with that stuff either. Reese is our IT specialist when Nam's not around. Uh, Alex, John, such. Okay. The basis of, so I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's uh, definitely uh a sad thing. I, I listened to a lot of Bon Jovi growing up as I was an 80s kid, and that was on the radio, like, all the time. Also, in my later teen years, I had a friend who was a, quite a few years older than me, actually. Um, Jimmy, he actually passed away, uh, had a heart attack. Uh, shoot, it's probably been 10 years ago now. Uh, but Jimmy was roughly... I think he was seven years older than me, six or seven years older than me. Um, I think he was born early 70s. So he was kind of more of a 70s kid, uh, but he really loved rock and roll. And uh, Bon Jovi was one of his favorite. I mean, dude rocked a John Bon Jovi haircut like all through the 90s. Like dude was like hardcore, uh, you know had like the classic Toyota and the RX-7 that like went with that whole, I don't know, for a minute there was like a <laughs> like a lifestyle pack, like a starter kit, and he was rocking it. Um, yeah, there are definitely, definitely things I miss about Jimmy, but Bon Jovi, whenever I think of like, John Bon, that's what he always called him, John Bon! And he had kind of a nasally voice too, so he had, John, John, John Bon! <laughs> Come on, Brad, put out some jam on. You know, whenever we're in my car, I'd be like, no, we're listening to rap, dude. We're not listening to Bon Jovi. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube that do this stuff that I wonder about. Like, these guys that are supposedly, like, trainers and, and they, like, get a dog that's, like, super aggressive or whatever. And then, like, all of a sudden, they, like use their body language. They don't even say, like, they're not even like, no, stop it, shh, sit. Like, they just, they just, like, move, like, these weird gestures with their body. And it's like sign language for dogs or something. But I don't know how the dog knows that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, it's crazy. Hey, Phil, what up? Welcome to the stream. Just getting our mo on. We're legit just over halfway there. I won't dare sing any more Bon Jovi after talking about it. But yeah, good, good times. Mowing Monday's in full effect. Nice. Are you watching uh, The Complete Saga, The Force Awakens, 3, Skywalker Saga? Like, it's crazy to think that there's been so many different Lego adventures in the Star Wars universes. Universe, I guess. It's just a single, single universe. Yeah, we hope to start pushing out some of our free roam videos soon. We're just trying to get it and get it in a proper order, which I think we've figured out, which is going to it's gonna make y'all go crazy. But, um... You know, as far as being able to 100% an area and not have to jump off planet for off planet requirements or pre prerequisites, um, we, we're uh, we're trying to slowly pick these planets off and areas one by one. 
So uh, I, I guarantee that there will be at least one video up no later than Saturday that'll have a video uh, for collectible locations and such. But there will also be a uh, kind of like a, our free roam plans, how we expect to do it, our release schedule for it. Because it's just not like I, I was talking last week at the game break. I was talking about I'm hoping to have a Monday, Wednesday or a, a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday release schedule to be opposite of our Monday, Wednesday, Friday stream schedule. Um, so that we're basically pushing content six days a week. But those free roam levels are so long. They take so long to edit. And, uh, you know, of course, for me, scouting it, too, because like, I'm sure you guys have heard me say a million times, I, I actually have two save files going right now, one on the PS4 version of the game and one on the PS5 version. So I'm sort of scouting and doing all of my uh, trial runs and figuring the puzzles out, like those plumbing puzzles and stuff. Like, those things are crazy. Like, you know, being able to get those pipes in the right order and, and where they come from and what, like, there's a lot of that stuff. And I don't want it to be me figuring that out on screen for you guys. So, which is why I didn't want to stream it, because I knew that there would be a lot of me troubleshooting, even though you guys would be there to help. I knew that there would be a lot of like, which way do I go? Or where's the last piece? Or where is that target? So although there's still going to be some mistakes that I make along the way, um, and there's probably going to be an edit here and there of like, oops, I ran around looking for 20 minutes trying to find that one that I already knew where it was or whatever, right? But ultimately, it should be a lot smoother. And that's why a lot of people like, they'll show up and they'll comment and they'll be like, how do you know where everything is? Well, I have guide writers that tell me where it is. And then I use that info to go find it. Now, in the free roam, though, that's all me. Like, I'm not trying to take away anything from the guide writers, but there has never been a collectible location guide written for me. Um, I always map them out and play them on my own. And, and uh, you know, like, Tyler has definitely helped out in the past of, like, you should do this planet or this area before that area because there's unlocks and things. like. So there is some information that I get, but as far as, like, the actual collectibles... Like, there has never been um, an HTG guide prepared that has those written down for me. And, and it's usually because there's too many of them. And it's funny because, like, in the, in the old days, like, some of the earlier, like, Pirates of the Caribbean and things like that that didn't really have a free roam, um, it went from, like, not having one to having, like, tons of collectibles and bricks. And so, um, you know, I don't mind it. I'm not complaining or wishing that they would do things differently. I, I just takes longer and, and, and this one is even bigger that's i mean it's free roam wise it's the largest free roam we've ever had regarding the amount of collectibles and the amount of places um you know i still think and, and we'll know at some point i mean there's there's clearly more bricks and things in this than there is lego dimensions or even lego uh city undercover but, I mean, we've been here before in regards to, like, mapping out this many collectibles and stuff. Like, like a Lego City, I feel like, is is close. I, I still think that TSS probably has a couple hundred more. But, I mean, you go and you look at all the different tasks, and some of those levels had 40, 50 things to do, you know? And, and then there was, like, 17 areas, I think. So, now there's 24 areas... But, but you really break that down. There's actually like 58, I think, or 53 landing locations or flying. Like, so there's multiple locations on some planets you can land on and the space. So there's 24 planets, but like 58 actual, you know, areas. And, and so I think 24 of those are going to be space. But those will be attached to another video. And I'll explain all that in, in our preparing for free roam. Or our free road plans. It's not preparing. I didn't want to use the same thing because I didn't want to confuse people. But uh, hey, what's up, KB Rockin? Welcome to the stream. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, Brian, I'm trying to find all the data cards for the multipliers. Yeah, so uh, if you need, if you're looking for locations, I will not ever have a video specifically for those. Um, we will cover those as we hit each area. So, like, we've already got the one in Hoth. We did that for our preparing for video. So that one will be lacking when we actually cover the Hoth free roam, like the, the whatever it is, um, the base. Uh, I don't know why I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, um, 
Yes. So that being said, we do have all 19 of the locations written in our guide that's actually posted right there. I got a link there. It's at happythumbsgaming.com. It should be the main post on the page right now as of this stream. So uh, it's easy to find. But yeah, scroll down a little bit and all data card locations are there. So if, if you know, if you want to wait for the free roam, that's fine, too. But it's going to be weeks before the free roam is complete. Um, and and uh, that being said, if you're in a hurry to find those now, um, yeah, and we'll be just grabbing them as we go. We're, we're not going to go out of our way to get them specifically. Um, that's something that I've never really done. I've always kind of pondered if I should, because I know some people like to do that. They like to go around and, and hit all, like in this case, there's 19 areas that have a data card. So, you know, you go to all 19 areas. Rather than doing each area and then completing the area 100%, you guys like to go get those data cards first. And then, so, uh, you know, everybody has their own routes and, and nobody's right or wrong. But uh, in our case, we'll be, we will be getting all those data cards as we complete each area. So um, I'm not sure what the next area will be that will have it because I've, I've, I've got sort of a planned uh, attack, but I don't. Like, I haven't looked at all of the breakdown of each collectible or item for each area. So, uh, it's coming soon. Yes, Echo Base. Thank you, Cosmo. Well, I, I knew that, but I just wasn't able to retrieve it. Um, so, yeah, we, we, will, uh, we will be getting those as we trudge our way through each area. Which, as I mentioned, I hope to have the first full area up on Saturday. And, and that's going to be my goal. Like, ultimately, I hope to get at least two videos up per week and, and i'm gonna rock the same type of plan that i always do i'm gonna upload as much as i can and try to release at least bare minimum every saturday um that, that's sort of my thinking right now um reason for that is i'll be able to do my scouting and recording and editing at least on tuesdays and thursdays and then Saturdays. So as it gets hotter and the summertime gets here too, the ability for me to create audio files, it, it gets harder because it's always 10 to 15 degrees hotter in my room, at least, than it is outside. So on these days that are gonna be 80, 90, 100 degrees, it'll be, you know, 90, 100, 110 degrees in my office. And therefore I'm gonna require a fan and some air conditioning and stuff like that. And I always turn all that stuff off when I record because I don't like it being picked up. And I've had a heck of a time trying to isolate sounds to only be me. And, and, and actually, I was getting some weird crackling and popping uh, with the settings that I currently have trying to isolate sounds. Um, it wasn't to the point where I don't even think anybody's noticed it. Maybe you have. Maybe you just thought it was like a YouTube error or something. But um, there have been some issues uh, on the streams as well as in the videos. Uh, just sort of like a, it, like it peaks out for some reason out of nowhere. Even though I'm not like talking loud into the mic or something, it just kind of cracks. But um, y'all. But yeah, so we're just going to kind of uh, draw out the free roam. We're not going to, uh, you know really stress ourselves out over trying to get videos out as fast as we can or anything. Um, sadly, um, you know, it's a huge game. And, and a lot of you that are like in a hurry that likely would have wanted or needed help with our video, the ones that already have it and want it, they've already finished it. I mean, Kirsten's been um, sort of stretching hers out too because she could have finished it days or weeks ago had she been playing, you know, you know, more than one planet a stream or, or whatnot, or streamed more than one time a day for Lego, right? So, uh, you know, Gray's been done for weeks, maybe maybe over a month now. Tyler, too. Um, so, you know, there's definitely lots of people that are done. I'm pretty sure Jay has been done for a week or two. I haven't talked to him in a while. I, he messages me on Facebook all the time, and Facebook is... And maybe it's the way I use it or something, but I have troubles getting messages sometimes. Like, I... I, I clear notifications a lot because I get like so and so responded or reacted to your comment and so I just clear the notification and sometimes it might clear like a message that I get to but I try to like look at those separately um, but I sometimes miss them I, I, I found comments from four or five six weeks ago here and there it's weird how sometimes it'll happen I'm like oh my god how did I miss this like I'm on Facebook pretty regularly 
but I don't have messenger on my phone so I don't like you know if somebody does message me and I get a message notification there I, I don't I swipe it off because I don't have the messenger on my phone I got enough crap on my phone already to waste my time <laughs> all right let's take a quick peek at the overall mo here so I've done a pretty good job outside what's left. And there's not hardly any scraps around. That's good. And technically, I'm not even in my preferred mow view either. A little quieter this way too. The mower's not as loud. Reese and I were talking the other day about me getting a steam deck too. But I have some questions about that. I don't think anybody out there has a Steam Deck, right? Not a Stream Deck, but a Steam Deck, which is basically... Uh, 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 it looks and sort of... It is like a Nintendo Switch, but it's a mini PC to go. It's like a little mini PC player. You can play all the PC games. And uh, I've, I've been contemplating getting one. I know, like... The way you have to hold it is kind of my first annoyance or question because I don't know if I like my hands being like spread out like that. I don't know if it'll be comfortable long term or not. Now, another thing I want to know is can I beam that anywhere? Like, is there a way I can like with VR headsets and stuff, you can plug in a USB cable to it and, and actually people can see what you see through your VR. So, like, you could stream your VR experience, even though you're seeing it a little bit differently than they are, um, you can still utilize that. Funny number! I, and so, like, if I get a Steam Deck and I could stream? So here's what I'm thinking. Like, I asked Reese this, and this is impossible, I'm sure. But if I could either, A, USB it to like a laptop, right? And as long as that laptop had an internet connection, I could then use a web camera and a microphone and I could potentially stream from wherever. Think about that. Right now, I have to take a ton of crap with me if I'm going to try to do that, which I don't do it, right? I often take my PS5 with me or in the past PS4, uh, but I, I don't... Um, you know, I don't take my computer with me. Like, there was a time where I used to pack. I'd go stay with my mom, you know, at her house for like a week or whatever. Or I'd take my PC and everything and set it all up there. That was in the early days when I was doing web development and really needed to, like, work on websites and learn stuff and whatever, right? Like, um, I don't do that anymore. It's been a long time since I've taken everything. My wife hated it. She's like, might as well get a U-Haul travel back and forth. You're taking half our you know, place with it. Which was not wrong i was definitely taking more than i needed to um but uh like if i could hook it up to a laptop like when i'm at eagle crest i could potentially even if they were like shorter streams or whatever i could be uh playing and there's no way i, I don't think you can get a steam deck that easily right now I, I think you have to order them wow that bird just flew between me i don't think that's ever happened you guys saw that right um that was really cool. I don't think I've ever seen... There goes another one. What is happening? What is happening? Am I tripping? Has that been happening, like, in previous streams? Or is that a new thing? Anyways. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, I would totally buy a Steam Deck. And I would play PC games on it, too. Because it has a controller-based input. And... Um, but, yeah, if I could just piggyback that onto a laptop. And that laptop could handle a webcam and a microphone... I could literally stream wherever I had internet. And right now, I've got pretty decent T-Mobile tethering capabilities. You know, so I mean, I could be out in the middle of nowhere and stream. I, I've been seeing this guy uh, who has an RV. I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's been on various news shows and, and reports. Um, but he's got an RV, and he's got a gaming setup inside his RV, and he's got, like, one of those, you know, mobile hotspots, and uh, he can go wherever. So he'll post up in the middle of nowhere and like, you know, the middle of the forest, you know, or wherever, in Arizona or Oregon or Washington or wherever, right? 
and then he'll be there for like a week. And he'll get up and he'll go fishing or whatever, and they'll come back and play games. And he streams his games, and um, you know it's a pretty cool setup. Like I, I've seen him break down the setup a couple of times now, and like I said, in various platforms. Um, definitely cool thought and uh, a way I could live. Like Jillian and I have talked about you know buying an RV um, and traveling. Right? I mean, gas is so stupid expensive right now. I don't think that would be a very smart choice but um and yeah th is that gonna affect you guys at all race i know that you're getting close to your yearly trip too like is that i mean are you doing anything differently or, or i mean it's just crazy and and if it continues to go up like i was reading this morning it's supposed to be at six and a half here in oregon which is about 50 cents higher than it currently is at least 50 cents higher than it currently is um by the end of the week slash month like in the next couple of weeks it's supposed to go up another 50 to 75 cents in Oregon our EV cannot get here fast enough we still gotta wait till like January or February to get it too which is the worst uh, all of our RV friends have bought homestead properties so what does that mean like are you guys not going or does that change anything? I'm just wondering if, like, the gas is affected. Because I, I feel like... Like, I'm not driving my GTI hardly ever. Like, normally I would drive to my uncle's house, you know? Mm -mm. Didn't drive. It was a really nice day for most of the... Like, the drive there, it was raining on the way home. But um, it was pretty nice for a good, you know, half the day. And then it got real nice. No, no clouds, just nothing but sun for about an hour. And then all of a sudden the clouds came in and it got real gross. But... Um, yeah, that's that's where we're at right now, Chacho. For premium, it's about five seventy-five on average. Uh, you know, I've seen it higher than that. I've seen it lower than that. Uh, regular gas, which I cannot put in my car, um, I, it's like uh, five fifty, five forty. We saw it in some places yesterday, like Costco gas with a Costco membership and, and card is like five twenty-nine or something like that. I think it was five twenty-nine for regular. But uh, folks are taking an RV country about three and a half hours away. Yeah, that's not very far, though. I mean, three and a half hours, I mean, that's probably a few hundred miles. But, I mean, like, that's a big difference compared to, like, basically cross country and back. I mean, by the time raised and, you know, they get back, it's, it's, they could have almost gone cross country. Yes, our long distance drive this year in Arizona isn't going to happen. Okay. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, I, I mean, I keep hearing all these different takes, right? Like, oh, all we need to do is this, or they're just being greedy, or, you know, like, I have no idea what's right or what's wrong, what, if it's going to change, if this is the new norm. I've seen a lot of financial people talk about. Um, you know, this is the aftermath of all of those stimulus checks. I've seen, I've seen all sorts of stuff. I, and you know, I, I have a, I have a buddy, a childhood buddy that is a financial planner, very, very smart, uh, business mind. Um, and, and I haven't asked him, I haven't picked his brain at all to see like, you know, is, is this the new norm as, you know, um, what should we be doing, investing in? Like. Um, it's weird, too, because, like, uh, I was talking to my mother-in-law yesterday. Um, I, I don't know all of the details, but long story short, she ha she inherited some sort of assets from, I, I think, her parents or maybe her parents' parents or something. Um, and, and it's um, rights to an oil well in, I believe, Montana. And... Um, you know, there's lots of oil wells, right? Like, I would say probably hundreds, if not thousands of them. And they all vary in size. Uh, this particular one, she actually is co-owner. Um, or a co-rights holder. Well, I guess owner is probably not the right word. But, um, and, and we were talking about, I was like, boy, like, although it sucks at the pump, like, how has that been working for you? And she said, oh, it's been terrible. And I said, really? And she said, yes. And I said, well, what do you mean? And I said, you've got to be getting some higher dividends. And she said, um, 
she said what her dividends were like last month or last whatever period right they get you know their their payouts she said it was more but she said it was only like sixty dollars more or something like that you know and, and the time in between these payouts she has certainly paid more than sixty dollars for you know extra fuel costs right so uh, you know, and, and again, she, it's not like she owns like any, uh, like a huge reserve or anything like that. It, it's just one of those well rights. Um, and, and so, but like, that's crazy to think that as much as we are paying, you'd think that it would be more than like, you know, 50 or a hundred dollars or whatever. Um, and the, if, you know, that's crazy. And, and so where is it all going is my question and again when i ask this to like the the masses right or if i read and see other people asking this you know everybody seems to have an answer and you know and a lot of people blame administrations current or former um a lot of people are blaming um our usage of it a lot of saying like we use too much if we would just stop for a week and not drive then they would be forced because their reserves would be too like there's all these like theories or statements you know I, like listen i have no idea if that's a thing or not i mean if we all stopped driving i mean i can't imagine their production would i mean they would probably slow their production versus continue to hammer it out at this high rate but i, I mean i don't know anything about anything so like i don't i just hope this isn't how it is because I know not everybody has an electric vehicle. I know not everybody can afford or or that situation doesn't necessarily work. I mean, there's a lot of different planning that you have to do depending on your driving needs, right? Like my brother has a Tesla. He says he's never gotten below 40%. He's never used a public charger ever. I'm not sure he really needs a, uh, an electric vehicle for his usage, but it's working for him totally, right? So like, you know, um, everybody's got different stuff i know that some people live in the middle of nowhere like i got a friend that lives in montana i've mentioned this before and and uh, my friend that lives there the closest public charge station to his home is 80 miles away now one might say well you probably don't need one if it's close that close to home but i mean if you're out and about all day and you go, like let's say you go shopping you go go run 20 errands and you're maybe you forgot to charge all night tonight or something right there's always going to be a what if um, and so for him, there's like no way on earth that he would ever even consider one because he has to be at home to charge or he can't charge within 80 miles of his house. Um, you know, but again, how often do you leave go more than 80 miles from your house? I, you know, I, I don't there's a lot of back and forth. But so I mean, but this gas price is going up and up and up. They're not even holding their ground. They're going up and up and up. And I mean, it's got me feeling like man i've done so much work put so much love into my car i have got an appointment where my car is going to get some paint work done to it to clean it up a little bit because it's falling apart on the trunk and uh now i'm just wondering should i even do that i mean if i'm just going to end up having to sell it because i can't even afford to drive gas i mean i can afford to drive gas but i mean i want to save buy a house i want to have other things i don't want to i don't want my my job to go 50 percent pay to my gas use you know we are so lucky we you know had our cousins that took care of us with that prius because i mean my wife's driving to work it's 35 40 miles to work every day at you know there and back it's 65 70 miles right and, and you know she's getting 45 miles to the gallon in that prius we'd only be getting like 30 32 in our honda which is not the worst but I mean, you start stretching that out per gallon, 15 gallons, you're getting 15 extra miles. Like that starts adding up. Shoot, I'd take 15 extra miles period in my car right now. Cause I only get about 250 on average. You know, and I drive pretty aggressively. You know, I'm usually right in my boost and that's where it uses the most fuel. And, um, you know, I drive by sound, you know, often I'm, I'm in gear by, by the way my car is responding or the notes that it's putting out. And, and my preference for that is usually a little bit higher than the fuel efficiency is. So uh, as a result, I uh, waste a lot of fuel, <laughs> but I've been I've been really good. This last tank, I'm slotted to, to maybe maybe get 280, 290. 
I mean, I don't think I'll get 300 out of it, but um, definitely getting an extra 50 miles or so out of it. And, and keep in mind, too, most of my driving with this tank has been a two-mile drive. So, I mean, I'm warming up the car almost as long as it takes me to drive him. And So, I mean, like, on longer trips, if I were to do some highway driving with my same mentality and stay out of boost. Like, eh. But it's hard, though, because on the highway, I got to do, like, 60 to stay out of boost. 65, 60, uh, 67 puts me in boost, which means I'm right there ready to rip. If I need to go faster, I can go faster real quick. But I'm also using consuming more fuel. So I have to do about 64, 65, 66 miles an hour, which I have a hard time. I like flowing at about 70 in Oregon, which is super slow for some places because I know it's like 75, 80 on some highways like, you know, in other states, Texas and other places have much higher, much higher. It's almost like Autobahn status. <laughs> what is this? My dad inherited one from his dad. It's in Oklahoma. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, those are always nice. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't think any of my side has any of that stuff. Um, you know, there's definitely like some property and stuff. Like, like my mom and her husband, they. They've got a lot of assets like that. Like, um, they own a, uh, like an orchard. It, it's zoned as an orchard, but currently it's just like logging zone, basically. It's like big, like 75 to 150 foot, like, I don't know what they are. I, I'm going to say they're like, probably like pines and things like that they're along the Oregon coast. Um, they actually bought this property. When they sold their Hawaii house, they bought a, a, a big plot of land. And uh, they had no idea what they were going to do with it. And uh, so they have this giant plan now. And in order to do it, they need this uh, lower community to sign off on an approval for an access road. And the, the community has sort of been fighting against it. And so <laughs> so my, uh, my stepdad has found some... Um, very annoying procedures that are unstoppable that uh, would make things a little bit less appealing to the community. So we're hoping that that'll change their original stance on it and that everything will just go smooth. Because basically the original proposal uses one of their existing roads, like a, like a driveway. It, it's like a gated community and um, one of the roads would be used to get to this new area. And, and eventually, you know, they could build 10, 15, 20, 30 houses up there. There's enough room for a whole complex, but they'd have to get a rezone, do a bunch of stuff, pay, you know, set, like all these things would have to happen and get approved by the, the, the county, which probably wouldn't happen. But, you know, my, my stepdad's been doing this for a long time and is very capable of a lot of things. Uh, so who knows? Like there's, there's stuff like that that, you know, may or may never come to fruition, right? But I don't think there's any any other stuff. And who knows if that'll even be around. You know, both my, my mom and my stepdad are, you know, both fairly young as far as that kind of stuff goes. Uh, you know, my mom was 19 when she had me. So, you know, uh, she's still fairly young. You know, I mean, considering, I mean, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore myself, but... Uh, you know, considering. And then her mom's only was 16 when she had her. So my grandma's only 30, basically 36 years. It's like in a couple months, but uh, it's kind of crazy, right? Kind of crazy. Hey, what's up? Uh, Arc.exe builds. What is up? Welcome to the stream. Fiftieth high school. That's crazy. My dad's fiftieth is this year too. Oh, it's this year's is twenty twenty four. Yeah, my dad's is um is this year. And I only know that because my dad is not on Facebook and like all these people from his high school are. And uh, you know, my dad came from a fairly small community, uh, a country, like a farm community, uh, Staten. And um so uh, I ended up that's where I if you, if you flash back to earlier in this stream, I talked about moving in with my grandparents who lived in Staten, and I went to Staten High. So uh, I ended up going to school with a lot of the kids of parents of, like, people who went to school with my dad, right? So, um, 
definitely some connection there. So yeah, I, I, I've been contacted by a couple of his old classmates going, Hey, is your dad aware that there's a 50th anniversary or reunion coming up? I'm like, I'll let him know. I mean, it's crazy to think that I'm coming up on like my, I'm a couple of years out, but in, in, uh, in 26, it'll be my 30th, 30th. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, very relaxed again. Yes. I don't know what it is. It's, it's so much. And I'm looking forward to, uh, I, I still got to make some adjustments to my setup here. But I, I, I do plan on having some pressure washer simulator days, too. Funniest thing is, 2024 is also March and Homer No way, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Woo -wee. We're in the home stretch here, peeps. It's crazy to think that I'm almost ready for the BRB time. <laughs> and we've we've legit not even finished one yard. I mean, it's it's in all fairness, it's an orchard, and we're getting paid the big bucks. And I will likely do a handful of smaller ones after this now. Nice, twenty twenty four. You'll be twenty one. Awesome. I turned twenty one in uh, ninety nine. So I was uh, I, I slid in just under the celebration radar because, like you know, the year. 2000 was like a big deal, right? Y2K, for example, and just all the other Mayan calendar stuffs, and there's a lot of stuff going on that year. Um, but I remember when I was like 15, my mom was like, oh my god, you're gonna be old enough to drink in the year 2000! But, yeah. 35th this year, huh? Nice, nice. Yeah, it's just crazy to think. And, and you know, I, I still talk to a fair amount of the people that I went to high school with um, in Staten. Um, you know, I go see one of my buddies, Jordan. You guys hear me talk about him quite often. He lives in Portland. His dog, Charlie, is largely the reason I finally folded and decided to get a dog of my own. Because Charles is like, we love us some Charles. Um, and, uh, yeah. We went and saw him not too long ago, too. It'd been a while. It's so funny when he sees us, too, because, like, I don't know how many people stop by Jordan's house or how often, you know, Charlie gets to see people he knows or whatever. But, like, you know, my wife and I will always play a good game of fetch with his ball with them or tug of war. He's got, like, this weird kind of chewy toy. It's, like, in the shape of a Z. And uh, it's a good tug toy. And, uh, you know, we get going on that. We, You know, we just we totally play with him. So he, like, as soon as he sees us, he knows it's, like, play time, you know, and... Uh, but yeah, and, and Drex is no different. Drex is definitely, he's like, oh my god, Bob's home! Dad's home! Let's do it! Let's play! Uh, I don't talk to anyone from high school. So, I, you know, I, I used to have a friend that I talked to every day. And I actually was just talking about him the other day. In fact, I think it was on Friday when we had the Apex stream. I was talking about how... I think Nam was talking or somebody was talking about getting phone calls right before something. And I, I mentioned that I had a friend that used to call me intentionally like five or seven minutes before a stream would start because he knew it would just trigger me. And, and he, he always wanted to like and he was playing around. Right. It was like a friendly ha 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 got him kind of a thing. But when he did it like three days a week and I would get rowdy every time, like, you know, a few other things happened. Um, and, and he and I haven't spoke and it's actually that happened um, I'm trying to think I would say it was like September October ish right before COVID so it's legit coming up on three years since I've talked to him. and this dude was arguably my best friend from that era and time like we talked all the time through thick and thin together you know, financially, we helped each other out, like, numerous times, like, like, road dog, good friend, you know. But we also have, like, this other side, like I, like I mentioned, the triggering, kind of playful banter. Uh, and, and the thing was, is that 
You know, I, I actually read a quote this morning, and I don't remember who it was. I wish I, I wish I could remember who it was. Um, I read it on Talib Kweli's um, uh, uh, Facebook page. He was quoting. He was like, "Man, this is really resonating with me lately," and it was something like. If I had the same thought process at 40 as I did at 20, I would consider that 20 years of wasted time. And, and, and what I gathered from that and what I believe the meaning behind that statement is, is that, you know, uh, we should always continue to grow. And, and, and growth is going to look different for everybody, but we should always push ourselves to grow. And I think one of my biggest hurdles with this particular friend of mine is that, you know, here we were in our 40s. He's actually a year older than me. Um, his, his birthday is actually tomorrow. This is, what, this is why I bring this up. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, he's had some unfortunate luck with some things and he's had some choices that he made. That, that, you know, I, I, I don't know. I haven't heard him say it, but I feel like he would probably do some things differently because he's he's a year older than me and he doesn't have what he would consider the love of his life. He doesn't have uh, a lot of things, right? Like, and and so it's tough. Like when you get sort of sort of start to get angry and grumpy and I, and I could feel some of that and, and I could feel what I believed resentment because I had some of those things and I'd made some different choices but the problem ended up being that like he just had a lot more availability right and it was hard for him to understand like that family life right like he has a dog and he has a job and he's got friends and I mean it's not like I'm not ragging on him I'm just pointing out that we we hit a a, a, a roadblock at one point and I went one way and, and he may have been following the same way but we were going at different speeds and, and then like a couple of things were said that were sort of like from the old days right like things that were maybe just inappropriate right and, 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 you know, ha, 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 whatever. I didn't bother it. But then when they started being said for fun with no ill intent, but when they were started to be said to my wife and she looked at me and said, I don't like this, I, I couldn't take it anymore. Um, and so I, I actually terminated that friendship. I haven't spoke to him in three years. It's been killing me, though, you guys. Like, it really has. And, and, and like, there, there's so many days that I've been like, all right, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to call him today. And I haven't called him. And, and you know, my wife's got mixed emotions about it. She wants me to have friendships on levels that, like, Ryan and I had. Um, but yet she also doesn't want 15- and 16-year-old behavior coming from me and my friends. We have a teenager that covers that. Um... And so it's been it's been a tough thing, but I, I I've really been sort of torn. Like I I think, I think, I think I'm gonna call him tomorrow and wish him a happy birthday. And, and I feel like, I mean, I could go really well and be like a what may be considered a, a, a birthday present because he's reached out a couple of times to me and and he's really close with Jordan too. So every time I see Jordan, he's like, hey, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I hear you, but yeah, you know, and and so I feel like it would be something that would be like, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be like a hero or any of that. Like, but I just feel like if there's going to be a day that I do reach back out, his birthday would probably be a pretty good day, right? Um, so, but, but I mean, there's been hesitations. Like, I worry, like. Is it going to be the same? Like, am I going to have to fight to just have the simplicity that I'm used to now, right? Like, um, you know, and, and again, like, none of it was bad, but it was like, you know, one one example. Um, he would just come here and just eat all of our food. Like, he, he would just eat all of our food. He was diabetic, too, six foot three, and like, was like the hungriest dude you've ever met. Like it seemed like he was 
always hungry. You could never feed this guy. Um, and, uh, and often there would be stuff left behind. Like, it wasn't so much that, like, we couldn't afford a bowl of cereal or whatever. But, like, I don't want to have to clean up your mess, right? It was just little stuff, right? And, and so, um, again, things I have to deal with my teenager with right now. And, and I miss the crap out of him. I really do. I mean, he was like a brother to me for so many years. Like, you know, he and I, he was one of the probably the first dozen people I connected with when I moved to state in high school. Um you know, and we've been through a lot of stuff together. Friendships, be, having stuff stolen from us, people being terrible, like all sorts of things. And, uh, you know, ultimately, there, there's so much of that that I miss and want back. But there's also like the fear of like, I don't want to have to pop this dude in the mouth if he says one more thing like that to my wife again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm not that guy. But like, you say something to my wife like that again. I'll Will Smith you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, I'm not kidding though. I mean, like, I, I just I have a, I have a higher expectation than most of respect going in and out. Um, you know, and, and uh, not everybody feels that way. We live in a very different time, and I feel like you know it's 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 cool to be a bully right now, and. And it's cool up until that moment, that point of no return where something snaps and something happens, right? There's all sorts of levels of badness that happen from that. But I'm not about that at all. Like, I, I get sick to my stomach seeing people get bullied or be harassed for whatever, you know? Like, uh, we just live in a really weird sort of toxic time. Let's see here. Uh, what did Susan say? Toxic friend isn't really a good friend. No, I, I, so, and yeah, and that's tough because it's, it was all in good fun, right? Like, but the boundaries seem to not be understood. So like, I don't have, you guys know I got pretty tough skin and, and I don't, I don't like roll over and, and cry about many things. I mean, I, I like to talk a lot, but I, and I bitch about some things, but I don't, I don't really make it my goal or effort. And I ne I'm never about revenge. Like I've never, like when I've had run-ins with people who've helped me work or whatever, like, even if I totally am like, like I've had a couple of you guys that were, uh, like really racist, um, and and I had one that freaked out. I, I, I had one, like no joke, at one point I had a weekly meeting and I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven of us. And this was way, way, way back. I'm not gonna get into names, it's not important. But I had a person who had been helping for about a month. And, um, during one of our meetings, I'm not kidding. I wish I had it on voice recording. On one of our meetings, he asked to have the floor to talk. And I gave it to him. And he, no joke, tried to convince the other six people in the room. Well, the other five people, because I was one of them and he was one of them. But he tried to convince the other people in the room that I was no longer capable of doing what I was doing and it was time for happy thumbs to move on without me. And part of it was based on something that I said really often back then. I used to refer to myself as a stud whore because I collected a lot of studs. I would run around. I was always, you know, whoring it up, which looking back with how things are, especially in today's climate, is probably something I could have done without. But that was one of the main examples and reasons. And, and this person was extremely offended and could not believe I would talk of such crazy things. And then started talking about his religious beliefs and stuff. And then tried to like, so I've had some things and, and you guys have probably never heard that story. You've, you've probably never heard that story before because even though it, affected me internally i never let it affect me publicly um i have not seen that person around i have not uh reached out or anything i'm usually pretty good about like hey how you doing like even nick nick was somebody who 
I still don't even know what happened between us. And, and so there's kind of like that question mark of like, why did I do something? Can I prevent it from happening again? Um, you know, and and so I, I've, I have reached out to Nick a few times, like when he has uploaded a video, which he hasn't done in like a year now, but he was playing Apex and doing some other Red Dead Redemption content. And so when he would post something, I would comment from Happy Thumbs and be like, hey, bro, we miss you. We'd love to see you. And like, I'd never hear from him. But, you know, in some of these cases, I just don't reach out. Like I had another one, too, that um, I literally had to let him go on the spot. And, and, and I, you know, I don't I, I say let him go like these are not like paid hirees. These are people who have found some time and they've volunteered and and have sometimes volunteered a lot of time. I mean, look, Kirsten and Ray's have been doing this for us. I mean, there's a lot of people. And, and now I try to do some compensation, which I didn't have that av availability back then. So it was all just everything was just volunteer basis. Um, but I had one guy that he came in swinging about something in a meeting and I had to talk to him about it afterwards. And it was sort of the way he was mansplaining things. And if you don't know what mansplaining is, <laughs> you're probably part of the problem. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but ultimately I had a side conversation with him and he started like saying some really like unequal things between, you know, men and women for example. And it was like, he, you know, and, and then down here was the others. And, and I, I couldn't stand with that personally, but I am very much open to you guys having your own beliefs politically and all these things. Right. Then he started posting these really aggressive things on his Facebook and Twitter accounts. And, and again, everybody should have the right to do whatever they want especially if you believe in something like politically or religiously or whatever. I, I'm not going to stand in your way or tell you you're wrong for it. But what I did ask him to do was stop posting posts of happy thumbs being like, hey, I was in this video or I helped them do this or check out my new group, happy thumbs that I'm helping. Like he was promoting the channel a lot and then being like super aggressive with these really crazy posts and talk about like even hitting women and stuff. Like, and I think he was trying to be funny, but like, he just, I can't, I can't have that. But again, you probably have never heard that story because of it. Now he still follows me on Twitter and he does respond to some of our tweets sometimes. And there's so many times that I just want to click unfollow and like, hide from him but ultimately you know um yeah it was actually before streams um it was before htg tv it was before it was a it was in the early days like um jeremy was still part but he this is when he was like actively uh deployed in the navy and we wouldn't see or hear from him in three to six months at a time uh mark was sort of involved but like mark mark liked the the glitz and the glamour but didn't always want to i mean he had a full-time job and you know a, a life that he was so he, he wasn't always wanting to create guide videos and such but he liked being part of it and helping out and spreading the word and doing his you know marketing side of it mark hitting did you guys catch that um but anyways um I just feel like, uh, and that's right. You have the right to say whatever you want, but there's also consequences. And I think that's a big misunderstanding about the freedom of speech. And, and like, so in the end, like, I, you know, I had to disconnect and, and it was kind of an ugly disconnect. And again, they tried to slander me and, you know, and it was like, bro, like, and, and even like moving forward, like I've seen some stuff. And what's crazy to me is like, I even presented it to him like, what would your wife think about these statements that you're making? Like, I'm not telling you to not do it. Like you can think and do whatever you want. Like if you want to beat your lady, I can't do anything about that. Right. I don't know where you live. I, I don't, I don't, I can't really be, I, I can only do so much. Right. So, uh, but I, mean, I can't have you promoting us and then hating people. Right. That's just too much, but uh, what is up, Galaxy Pug? Welcome to the stream. I am sad to report, though, your timing is not great. I'm actually uh, on a little bit of a rant, but really, I was just buying some time because it's be right back time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the BRB. 
and I'm going to go drain the tank, grab a drink, let Drex out, and I will be back in two to three minutes. So, Pug, hopefully you can hang on for a couple minutes because I'll be right back and we'll get our mo on. All right, guys. BRB.
Yo! Hi, it's back! All right, so... Let's go ahead and take on a smaller one here. Let's knock out a couple before we get done. Because we only mowed one lawn, one orchard. And I want some days to go by. We need, like, seven days to go by. So then I can have a larger uh, home base. And that will allow me to supply... Um, not only another employee, but the uh, other equipment that's required for that. And then I can jump on. I, I'm assuming that um, Buddy is still available uh, for hire, who was uh, an apprentice. And, and then I'll start training him because that's one of the trophies. But my chair is like in a weird spot. And I keep trying to move it and all it's doing is squeaking. Squeak, 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 squeak. I've been thinking about getting a new chair lately and then giving this one to Reese. I got to be honest, though. Uh, you know, Reese is still at that age where he doesn't necessarily appreciate things quite as much as, like, you know, I do. I take care of my stuff, like my car, my son, my lady, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. I, I very much take pride, in, and I'm, I'm like one of those guys that buys something and holds on to it as long as I can. I mean, I, I have, like, like, I have a hard time placing stickers places because... Um, you know, ultimately, once you place it on a certain item, it, it just doesn't go anywhere but down from there. Sometimes you get to keep that item, sometimes you don't. Like, you know, cars and such will be bad for weather and, you know. So there's all sorts of things. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of a hoarder when it comes to that. Oh, I'm at the wrong height. Okay, what do we need to be at? Five. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Kirsty, welcome to the stream! Oh, come on! Already taking flowers out. My bad. Boo, boo. Uh, well, just announced Lakers Avenue. Actually, that was that actually happened last week. Just announced, though, Lakers head coach hired former Portland Trailblazer and also co-teammate from the Detroit Pistons where Ham played, uh, Rashid Wallace. Who is the king of the saying, the ball don't lie. That's uh, something when when you get called for a foul that wasn't a foul and you miss the free throws, that was like a thing. He'd be like, the ball don't lie. Rashid Wallace is one of my favorite all-time trailblazers and, and ultimately player. But yeah, Darvin Ham was hired last, I think, Thursday or Friday. Uh, maybe over the weekend, but, it, but it's been a few days now. We, we actually talked about it yesterday. Uh, with my uncles and everything, because my uncle Steve, who's my dad's younger brother, he's a uh, you know big time Blazer fan. So we always talk. That's one of the things that we really connect on, is uh, you know the Blazers. So we're always like you know what are the Blazers gonna do? And uh, ah, so he's doing his press conference today. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's speaking to the media for the first time. Yeah, I don't know. Right? Listen, that's a tough place to be in where he's at. Traditionally, being the Lakers head coach is probably a really good thing. But when you've got this team that performed as poorly as they did, I, I don't know if you can blame the coach or the personnel or injury or that, that's one of those things where you just don't know. And like they've tried to get rid of one of their players, Russell Westbrook, for the last three weeks. They've been trying to find a suitor for a trade. Nobody wants him. Nobody will take on his really high paying contract, which means that the Lakers are going to have to keep him. And there was even a big article that said Lakers came out and said they are going to keep Russell Westbrook. And that means that they either, A, have to get rid of Anthony Davis or LeBron James or both and just play with Russell, or they're going to have to run it back and see what happens. But they didn't even make the playoffs with that team. Like, the Blazers didn't make the playoffs either, but they benched three of their players months before the season was over due to injury. And they had surgeries that ended their season. So, uh, yes, we could have made the playoffs. Honestly, we really could have. We had to bench the players when we were tanking because we were doing well enough that we would have been higher than the Lakers. And, and I don't know if the Lakers were tanking or not. That's always been a debate, too. Like, it seemed like they weren't. But, like, I don't know. That's a t I wouldn't want to be in his shoes because there's so much pressure right now. Like, more pressure than there usually is for a new head coach. And I wish him nothing but luck. I don't really know much about him. I did know he was a player, but I don't remember him as a player. So, like, you know, like, I remember Jordan. Like, I remember Magic Johnson. I remember Larry Bird. I remember a lot of the players, you know. 
Um, but not... I don't remember him. I saw a really cool photo, though, of Ham defending... No, it was LeBron defending Ham playing. So, like, LeBron was, like, 18 or 19 years old, fresh out of high school, one of his first games played in the league, and Ham was on, like, one of his last years played in the league. And... Um, it's just a really cool photo. And then now, full circle, he's the coach. That's pretty cool. Hey, Johnny, what's up? Welcome to the stream. And Chacho's wanting to know how you guys are doing, ladies. You guys haven't answered him yet. I've seen him ask at least twice now. If he asks again, I'm going to have to ask him to stop spamming the chat. <laughs> I have to start calling you Chach No instead of Chach O. <laughs> there you go, Chacho. Hiaston is doing well. And hey, did I did I hear it wrong? Does I mean I'm not trying to be mean, but does Paz think your name is Kristen? I swear I heard him refer to you as Kristen a couple of times during our stream last week. Again, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'll get it sorted. If, if, I, if I was hearing things or maybe it was a one-time thing or something, I'll disregard it. But if, if I need to, like, tell him, like, hey, man, that's Kier, not Cree, right? Let me know. I'm noticing more birds now. I feel like that is either something that they added to the PlayStation version or it's just been an update since I played it last, which I know there was a bunch of updates uh, on the Xbox before, uh, you know. Teflon, what up, broski? Mow, mow, mow your yard. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm six minutes in and I'm already over a quarter of the way done. And I just <laughs> sort of messed up that line there, too. Um, that last orchard, though, was crazy. Like, seriously, though. So apparently I was reading that trophy achievement guide. The first step, just completing like the basic tasks for like the campaign kind of thing. Um, you know, like reaching certain levels of uh, rating and uh, mowed so many yards and uh, traveled so much distance on a mower. Uh, like a lot of those uh, long-term ones are expected to take 50 plus hours. Five zero. Fifty. I mean, that's crazy. I, I don't even think I, I think I got five, maybe six streams in on the Xbox. And I, I don't think I was anywhere near where I needed to be. I, I, of course, I wasn't following a guide and I'm still not. But, um, you know, I did sort of, like I said, I read the overview a week or so ago. I should read it again because I probably going to make a mistake before I, you know, I may have already done that by upgrading my base, but I'm pretty sure this is the process. You got to upgrade the base and then once it's complete you can hire a new employee and you can begin the training. If you get lucky enough to get an apprentice, which right now we do have one that's uh, available as applied. Um, we got to work him up to a, a journeyman or a professional whatever the top level is. Uh, and then... Uh, there's a bunch of other ones too, but I, I don't know if I'll try to grind this for 100% or platinum, but uh, I know that I like it, and, and it, it, it'll likely be something that we play for another couple weeks, and if something big comes up, or by the time Stray comes out, or, you know, whatever the case may be, um, you know, we may drop off for a little bit and then bring it back. Like, this may be like a plan B or a fall through for Mondays. Right. Um, I know uh, Robert and I talked a little bit about doing Left for Dead. He said that he could make Wednesdays work. I have not talked to Gray or anybody else about 
I, I did talk to Nom, and Nom said that he didn't seem he didn't think that was a uh, a game that he would likely play, especially on the PlayStation. And I don't think it's cross platform like that. I don't think we could play PC to PlayStation, but maybe if we can, like like Back for Blood, we could. Um, but and if that's the case, then you know, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure out and see if like you know who else is available if Kirsten's interested or. Uh, but but again, uh, I'll say it again. Please do not buy it unless you have other plans already or really, really want it. But don't buy it just for this idea because I, I, I want to do it if we have like four or five people. I don't know if three is enough. And I know that Tude's fairly unavails. And, and whether that will... Uh, return, you know, after summer, because I mean, we're just getting into summer right now. So his four kids, and, and I believe I don't, I don't know what his wife's up to if she's still working for the school district or not. But in the past, she was, and um, and they would all have summer together, right? So they would always be doing things, traveling, and there's summer sports and um, whatever else they do in Ohio. But um, yeah, and then you know, Gray has been really. Uh, unpredictable because his schedule is unpredictable. He usually gets different shifts based on different needs. So like his Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday may look completely different than Thursday and Friday. And there's days too where I think he might not even get called or get a shift, but ultimately more often than not, they're using him for double shifts, which means that he will work right through the times that we would normally be hanging and playing. So, like, basically, everybody's schedule has just kind of shifted in the last few weeks. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Real life first is always our motto. But, uh, you know, it does complicate the possibilities for cooperative games in those scenarios. I don't know how long. Hey, Connie, what's up? I don't know how long Paz is going to be home, but he's sort of home right now for uh, at least a few days. Um, I, I'll have to talk to him and see if he's interested in, uh, you know, jumping into something like the uh, Evil Dead campaign stuff. And, uh, you know, see if he knows how to do that. I think if we had four... I could probably uh, convince Nam to join us, but I, 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 I'm not 100% sure on that. How you been, Connie? We're just getting our mow on. Believe it or not, this is only the second yard I've mowed for this stream. I, uh, I decided to mow an orchard, and it took, like, like an hour and 40 minutes to mow it. And then, of course, me talking a little bit. It literally was the only thing we did before break. And I took my BRB. Pretty crazy. Hanging in there. Nice, nice. It's all we can do these days. It's all we can do. I feel like I might have missed some right there. Nope. Cleaned her up. 80%, let's go. <laughs> nice. Yep, that's what I'm doing too. This one's a sit down, despite how it may look from the air. There we go. I'm chilling. Quite literally. Well, that first person view is enough to make you want to vomit. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no! See, I don't know if I... I think I told you guys this. I went and saw the optometrist or the eye doc, whatever whatever the real labeling for that is. I think it's optometrist. Um, and I took a bunch of tests and did all this stuff. And we were talking about games and gaming. And he was telling me that he got sick like I do playing VR at first and he just stuck with it and you know basically trained his brain to to play those without getting sick and i was like i don't know if i can do that and then we started talking more and i was like you know what back when i was playing socom all the time 
like when the original Call of Duty started dropping and like all that first person gaming started becoming a real big thing on consoles. It, whoops, whoopsie. Um, I really struggled with first person stuff. I would get sick when running, like the motion of the camera would make me sick. Now I don't get sick at all with that stuff. And my wife used to get really sick and couldn't watch me play a lot of those games either. Race car games still can kind of get her at times. Um, but for the most part, she's pretty fine with that stuff. And so uh, we were talking about that and I was like, man, I wonder if I just need to do some more VR stuff and see if I can get, and I mentioned the drama me too. And he's like, ah, I wouldn't take that. He said, not that it wouldn't help, but like, if you're really trying to get through it, I said, yeah, but if it makes me not nauseous and then I get used to it by not being nauseous, wouldn't that be a win? He's like, well, yeah, I suppose if it works that way. He said, it's just a, it's just an adjustment thing. It's not a, not a permanent thing. I was like, I don't know. I feel like it's permanent, but. Yeah, it did. It took a long time to do that orchard. And, and there was what, like, I think there was 10 trees. I did spend a fair amount of time with the string trimmer though, like running around doing the bases so I didn't ram into it and cause my mower any damage. It might be more time consuming than the weeble wobble back and forth that I often do, but it, even if it does save me a little bit of time or cost me a little extra, I'm not having to repair my, uh, crap, repair my deck and my mower every time, which has definitely been an issue in the past. I bounce into the, it's weird, like you barely tap like a tree or a fence and it just like boom 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 it like shakes the crap out of you like you hit went full speed into it or something and it acts as though you did a lot of damage when i don't think we did hardly any now did i cover everything on this back over here i guess i did i wasn't sure if i had a funny angle with the tree hmm all right i guess uh the gran turismo i have not played the new gran turismo I opted to not play that game. So, a couple reasons. One, I feel like that game is best served on a steering wheel. I, I, I know that a large portion of players have never even used a steering wheel in a racing game at home before. Uh, but I find that, you know, I used to have a race sim with a nice racing seat and, and a nice GT wheel. Um, and unfortunately, I, I let a friend borrow it, and uh, I'm not sure I'll ever see that again. But uh, that being said, um, I, I actually did some shopping and was going to buy a wheel and then buy the game. But I talked to a couple people that had it. Now, some people really liked it, like my, my friend Tude. He was a controller guy, and I pitched the whole steering wheel thing as why I wasn't doing it. And he was kind of like... It's like, whatever, man. It's a controller game. I'm like, you're fine. Play with the controller. And then, like, two days later, he's like, bro, I went and got a steering wheel. You talked me into it. And I was like, what? So, uh, you know, and he loves it. But I, I have a couple of other friends that are like, eh, I don't know. And, and then I've got the people, too, that, um, you know, have kind of poo-pooed on it. But because they're used to playing games more like Need for Speed Heat or, you know, um, What's the other one on Xbox? Uh, Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon. Forza. Forza. So, uh, you know, and I I feel like the arcade games are a blast to play, period. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I feel like those sim games require so much precision for perfection and whatnot um, that it, it's really hard to do on a controller. Uh, and that's just my personal take or cop out, if you will. Uh, Quarry is definitely a possibility. Again, that falls into the, you know, uh, the availability of others for the most part. However, I do know that there is a story, like campaign line, that, that could be played as well. In fact, I know that the multiplayer has even been delayed uh, a month or so. Um... Yeah, and as it sits, Kirsten, that's one of those games that I applied for, and and I, I'm feeling like there's probably a 80% chance I will likely get a code for it. So I think it'll be easy for me to decide whether I play it or not. But how much stream time it'll get will depend on how greasy the game is. Like if it's like, like we think it's gonna be like um, until dawn. 
I don't know. We'll see. Um, I actually had a comment the other day on Apex that asked if I thought Apex was really a kid's game. And, and I felt like it was being implied that I shouldn't have played that game on my kid's space channel. And, and I couldn't help but just feel like, again, I'm not a children's channel. I'm an all-ages channel. And like I stated earlier with LEGO, there's a big difference. A big difference. Um, do I cuss and curse and am I gross all the time? Mm -mm. Does that mean that I'm making my content for kids? No. The kids have any idea what 90% of the songs I've sung while playing this game? No, they're too young. You know, like, do they get any of the... Re no, they don't. Like, do I understand my adult jokes? No, they don't. Do I say adult jokes because I hope they... No, I don't. So, um, you know, I, it, it, I, I feel like every time I feel like I'm in the clear and I don't have to worry about, like, parents being upset about things, right? Because ultimately they like to let their kids loose on my content and they feel safe with it. But then the first time something goes not to their liking, I become the bad guy instead of like maybe them entertaining their children on their own. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like who's really the bad guy here? I mean, it's not the case for everybody. Sometimes it's grandparents playing with their grandkids and watching along trying to, cause they just can't figure things out. And I mean, there's all sorts of reasons. So, but I still try to keep it clean as much as possible. So I do wonder about those games, but I mean, what I was getting on earlier, I actually sidetracked myself at some point. Somebody came in the room or something, but oh, it was when we were talking about state of play. One of the main reasons I brought that up is because for a long time, I've wanted to play Resident Evil 4. But there's been rumors that Resident Evil 4 was actually going to be remastered for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. And so I've been waiting because I didn't want to platinum it and play through it. And, and I don't know that I will platinum it. To be honest with you, I've never fully completed that game like platinum trophy wise i will say that when i blindly played through it for my first two times which were like years apart and i didn't i only got about a quarter of the way or halfway through it my first time and then i lost my playstation and and the data and so then then i like years later i revisited it and, and i replayed it and i i'm not a fan of the control so i'm hoping that they have an updated control scheme uh but ultimately um I find it to be the most jump scary, terrifying, like running out of them all, honestly. Um, let's see here. Our E4 remake looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, for what it's worth, 4 actually looked good and because they've already sort of done a remaster because I have it for... Um, and that's something, again, PlayStation needs to update um, stuff. So when I go to my game library and I go to my collection... There should be a way to like alphabetically sort. Oh, look at that. Okay, perfect. But I want to go. Okay, so I, but there should be a search too. Um, anybody catching that reference? Whoa. Locked? Why is that locked? That's weird. Uh, where are you? There it is. So I have one already. Uh, and I don't know if like it, this would be like an Instaplat type thing. You know what I mean? If like if I played this now, but I mean like you know graphically, it looked good for its time. I guess it's not looking at these pixelated previews here. I'm not sold on it. But um, I, I do plan on playing through that. Now, I, I'm going to be terribly bad at it. Like I said, I, I've never 100%ed that game on any level. Uh, but I do find it to be like the most terrifying out of all of the ones I've played. Um, and really, I never finished one. I played some of it, but I never finished it. And and two, I didn't play until the remaster stuff. But um, yes, no, I know. That's why I'm saying I, I'm not going to play this current version. Uh, at least I'm not thinking about it. Maybe I'll play it off stream. And get familiar with it so when I do stream it, I actually have a clue what I'm doing. Oh. All right. What do we got here? We want some show show this. This looks like the uh it's got a higher value. Didn't we? I feel like we just did this one. Um, okay, and before we do this, let's um get some advert adverts going. Okay. 
Gotta spend money to make money. Uh, and let's see here. I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, boom. Where is it that I... I struggled with this last week, too. Um, how much is the mower I'm currently on? No, it's uh, this guy. Twenty six fifty. So I got enough money to pay for a new one. But do I want... Ooh, five Gs. Dang. Uh, side discharge. I don't really want a side discharge. I think this is the one that I had before. I had one of these guys before on my Xbox Go. Um... I feel like I deserve one of these, and then like the newbie can, can keep riding my knight and not so shiny armor. Uh, but we'll see here. Employees, is this where? No. Where is? There's a way that I gotta toggle over equipment garage. There we go. Uh, let's just go shop. Ooh, the big fat daddy, huh? Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Nah, we'll get the Toro at half the price. Okay, so now I got two. No, I don't want to leave. So now, I, basically why I did that now is because I'm just kind of prepping for my employee. So soon I'll buy that other mower. I'm, I'm going to have to mow a few more lawns, I think, before I do, though. That's, that's the whole catch. So do I want to do a bunch of smaller ones to get before I even hire him? Or do I want to hire him and buy a crappier mower? And then sell it. I wonder if there's a trophy for selling a mower. That's a good question, Brian. Feel free to look if you want to look, guys. All right, so I got uh, three objects. Two left. Uh, let's see. Here. Where are you at? Where, where are you at? Boom. Ah, boom. Uh, boom. Mr. Arrowverse, the last Resident Evil movie they did was not great, better than the two original. Yeah, so uh, there's a new series. That's coming to Netflix like next month. I think it's July as it's expected to be there, right? Um, I'm curious to see how that pans out. You know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for Resident Evil anything. I'm real easy to please, too, so I don't, like, have a lot of preferences about stuff. Like, there's always, like, one or two things that I might add that would be cool or different or whatever. But for the most part, I don't find myself griping about stuff. You know, like, I'm not like, ah, I should. Sometimes I do. But for the most part, I think I'm pretty uh, just open to whatever. Like, Star Wars, I didn't hate Jar Jar or any of that. Uh, let's see here. Misa thought he was funny. Not be able to walk through the thick grass that fast. Oh, come on, Teflon. Haven't yet? I got moves like Jagger. Uh, down. Good. And. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a strip here. Without crashing into that. Uh, let's turn. Get sort of a strip here. And away we go. Whoopsie. Uh, those were not there when I got here. Those were already gone. There we go. Oh, no, of course there's these overlap trees. Come on, man. I swear, I'm going to have to get the DLC for the Arborist Simulator come through here and trim some of them trees back so I can see what the crap I'm mowing. That'd be kind of cool if you could sort of link these games together in ways. Like, like, for example, you could be the arborist and come in and trim those trees. I don't think there is a tree trimmer simulator. But, it's your next game. <laughs> I'm dying to know what happens, but I guess. Wait, it's... <laughs> Uh, hey, SDK, Mr. Fix Me Club. Nice! Congrats on the plugs! 100% is always a uh, chore on any LEGO game. Some are definitely easier than others. But, uh, yeah, it's always uh, a nice accomplishment. 
I think by the end of the year, I will likely have the Skywalker saga 100%. And, and uh, ironically, it'll it'll be two times because I'll li- I'll be through a story and a big chunk of free play and then all of free roam on my PS4 playthrough because I sort of sped run my story. But while playing the story, I had already completed free play on my PS5 save. So I didn't I knew I didn't need any levels or any backtracking or anything. So I just got all the collectibles I could that were easy and in my way. Um, So there's like, I don't know, probably a half a dozen or a dozen levels that have all challenges and all mini kits done. And tons of them have, you know, a couple challenges, a couple mini kits or whatever. So that aspect is going to be easy. And by, in theory, in order to do the free roam the way I want to for the videos, I'm using my PS4 save as a scouting run. So I'll be completing each area, you know, while whimsically while I'm trying to figure things out and the order of how I want to do things and all that. Um, and then in the end, I will literally have, I'll probably have 25 levels of free play that need some cleanup. And then that'll likely be all I need because the free roam is 45% of the actual percentage. Like the free roam bricks and characters and ships that you get accounts for 45% of the game, while story and free play account for 55. And that's give or take a percent. But, uh, you know, knowing that I did not do any of the extra challenges in free roam, I only did the story, got those characters for unlocking the levels and unlocking those planets and stuff. Um, And then I, I did the free play, getting all challenges, all collectibles, and when I was done with just that, no free roam stuff, even before I did the uh, data card finding, um, it was 55, like 0.1%. So, I mean, like I said, there's going to be a, a little bit of a variant variance there, especially with updates and values changing and stuff. But that's crazy to think. Like, half of the game is... And if you add up, you know, you've got... What? I think you got 200 and... 25 mini kits, and I think there was 135 challenges. I'm probably wrong on that, but something like that. So that's like three, almost 400 collectibles for for just the mini kits and the challenges. Now you also got Kyber bricks, six for each level, which ended up being like what 200 and something. So you end up getting like 600 of the collectibles, and there's 2,000 ish, you know, with the updates and the new capital ships and stuff. Um, so ironically, there are more collectibles, but I guess I didn't count the characters. You get a lot of characters too, and some ships. So I bet you it's pretty, I mean, you probably get a little bit more of the characters. I bet you, huh, I hadn't thought about it like that. What, you'll stop now, one of the endings? Oh, 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 talking about cyberpunk, gotcha. Meat Lover's Pizza is done. Man, don't talk about pizza. I need to eat to. We went to Costco over the weekend. We got a new Costco out here and it's been here for probably three, four months already, but I had not been to it yet personally. My wife's been there a bunch of times. She drives by it on her way home and just pop in there real quick. And she kind of knows when it's not busy. And usually that's on her way home from work. Uh, Cause she gets off at like three o'clock, right? So three thirty is way, before the main rush of 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock people getting off. Um, so she'll stop in there and be in and out. But she opted to go this weekend to grab a few things. She's like, you want to go? And I was like, not really. But I went and walked around and... Uh, uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to eat, but we got, like, a bunch of mangoes that aren't ripe yet. Uh, we got like uh, this great dip, but we don't have any chips. Uh, we got, you know, it's like ham, no burger, <laughs> you know, uh, tuna, no mustard. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we got components, but not enough to meet any full needs. So, um, I don't know what the crap I'm gonna eat. I'll find something. Hey, what up, Muhammad? Welcome back. Welcome to my stream. <laughs> I saw that raised. 
I saw that. <laughs> oh, that was one of the best typos I've seen in a minute. That was good. I, I did for real see that. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. You come hang out for a stream or two? Yeah, I definitely remember you. Unless it's months or years, then sometimes old man Brian Brain lets me down a little bit, but I'm pretty good with names. Pretty good. And there's definitely things I'm not good with, but names, faces, usually pretty good. I, I think I've impressed a lot of people over the years, like from, the, from my SOCOM days, uh, how many people that we saw come and go from our clan over the 10 years we had the clan. I mean, it was like 60 plus people. Uh, some of them were local, and I actually got to hang out and meet in person, which makes things a lot easier to remember names and faces. Uh, but a lot of them were, you know, across the country or even international. Like, we had some people in Canada, and, uh, you know, we had one one guy, uh, Dirk Alerka, who was supposedly over in, uh, I guess he was in the UK. But I, I, but, I mean, all the names that I can remember, and, and, like, you know, years later, and I could still pretty much be quizzed, you know, like, what was Double Thumb's name? Sam. You know, what was Murder's name? Chris. What was Don G's name? Dawn. You know, like, there's, some are easier than others, but um, definitely uh, a lot of uh, names and, and um, uh, you know, brain works good in that ways. Uh, lyrics, song lyrics, pretty good with that, too. Uh, a list of collectibles, though? Nah. A list of food items I need at the store? Nah. Uh, you know, stuff I learned. Oh, and you know what's hilarious? Remember like two weeks ago? Maybe not even two weeks ago. It was one of my streams since I've been back. We talked about... We were talking about smarts and remembering things. And, and I said, hey, remember that show? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? And I said, man, I'm so glad that ain't on no more because I was not smarter than a fifth grader. Did you guys see they announced a game for it now coming to the PlayStation? And I'm sure, assuming Xbox too. But that game is coming out now, so uh, I'll have to play it and prove to you guys that I'm definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. You know, there's so many of those little details that I just don't remember. You know, like, um, you know, I took two and a half or three years of Spanish. I don't remember a lot of Spanish. Like, you know, when I was young, my next door neighbors were Vietnamese and I used to hang out at their house enough and they would teach me certain things and phrases and I could, you know, I would pick up on other things too, like turn the TV down, turn the TV off, like simple things that involve like, you know, things, right? I could figure a lot of those out. I could not, nothing. There's not one word that I would even remotely remember now, you know? I mean, that was when I was like 15, 14 years old, a long time ago. Uh, same with like the Spanish and stuff. I was back in middle school, junior high. But, uh, you know, faces and names, I've always been pretty good about that. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get that checked up one. I don't know if you can fix old. This happens. <laughs> Meat Lover's Pizza from Walmart? Hopefully there's a Pizza Hut in the Walmart and not like an actual... I guess Walmart, some of the pre, you know, packaged, take and bake stuff's all right. I'm not a huge lover of frozen pizzas. I find that they're often, you know, different. They're in a different class. I mean, some can be good. DiGiorno's, and there's a few out there that are pretty, pretty bomb. Costco, I think, has... I think it's Kirkland. I think it's one of them that they make decent ones. Pre-made, too. We, we uh, often eat Papa Murphy's pizza around here. Well, I found out the other day when I went and picked it up myself that those pizzas that you have to go home and bake are legit, like, the same price as most pizzas at Pizza Hut or other places that cook that stuff for you. And I couldn't help but think, like, why are we paying the same price and having to cook it ourselves, too? Like... That just doesn't make any sense. But I sort of, I guess it's sort of like going to, uh, you know, a Walmart and then using the self checkout. Like, you know, a lot of the pricing that's in that store is evaluated to pay employees and cover costs and things like that. Overhead, right? Building lights, power, all that stuff. 
Uh, that's what their markup goes to. It's not always just profit. They have outgoing, too. Um, but, like, by using the self-checkout, like, we're literally doing the work that they're paying other people to do. And so those people often don't have nearly the workloads. And they love it, right? I mean, I'm sure if there's a cashier in, in the chat right now, they're probably going, shh, shut up. Use self-checkout. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, ultimately, I've been reading that for years, like, you know, people like protest the checkout, self checkouts, because that's, you know, and, and, you know, for what it's worth, we're one of the last states too. Oregon has, uh, you know, full service gas. Like, they don't really check your oil and clean your windshield as much as they used to. I mean, they will on request. I don't know about oil, but definitely windshield washing. Um, but, like, we don't have to get out of our cars and pump our own gas here. Most states, in fact, I think there's like, 47 states or something like that that require you to get out and pump your own gas. In fact, there is a law, or at least used to be a law. I think COVID changed it. But there used to be a law that you cannot operate a pump in Oregon if you're not an employee of the place because it's not your property. And people were screwing things up and some lawsuits were made and like a couple of diesel cars had fuel put in them or vice versa, right? User error, but they blamed the station. Um... It only takes one or two of those situations before there's a new rule that evolves, right? Let's go ahead. Oh, come on. I hit the uh, the rock wall around there and it pitched me and it jumped me into the stuff. Sound well, yeah, it is. You know how you know how stupid I feel when I like cross the state border into like California or Oregon or I mean, California or Washington from Oregon, and, and I'm I like pull into a gas station. I'm sitting there for like five minutes, waiting for somebody to come, and I'm like, what the hell's wrong with these people? Somebody gonna come pump our gas or not? And then you know, if I have somebody with me, they usually get a good chuckle out of it. Like, hey, dummy, we're in Washington now, or hey, we're a Californian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh uh, yeah, that's right. We gotta get out and pump our own stuff. And, you know, it's like one of those things, like, you know, you wonder how some people make it to, you know, teenage or in their 20s without ever changing a tire, right? Like, you wonder, how does somebody get that old without knowing how to change a tire? Um, I am one of those people as far as pumping gas. Like, I'm always like, how do I do that? Hashtag pass. I don't know how to do that. Um, I mean, obviously, I've done it enough now. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where, uh, you know, you won't catch me going to buy some blinker fluid, but I, I may sit and look around at the, uh, the gas pumps for a second before I figure out, do I swipe the card now or later? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there are still some of those things. And, yes, I did make a blinker fluid reference, which is a hilarious joke that parents play on their kids if they want to get a good laugh out of stuff. If you're not familiar with it, I guess it depends on what side of the fence you would be on. If you're an adult and you have a child, you might look into this. And that's true, Chacho. Everything has become almost twice the price that it was, I don't know, five years ago. You got to go back a, a few years in order to really get that big number of doubling but um, ultimately it's uh, it's it's truly unrealistic unfair and um, <laughs> never ending I mean I, I, I've seen all sorts of reports that uh, you know uh, from different countries different people like I said business people finance people's um and I have yet to see a report that changes anything. In fact, I saw a stat. I don't know if this is true. I really don't know if this is true. But if it is, it's scary. Um, in the last, like, 40 years, this graphic or stat that I saw, it was a stat, but it also had a graphic and, and some other information to go with it to sort of verify its, you know, realness or validity. But uh, it said that the United States has only turned a profit, which is weird to think about it like that, right? Because at its core, with taxes and contracts and 
you know, uh, like mineral thing, like rights and things like there are a lot of potential revenue streams for um, the states. And, and, and you know, I, I don't I don't think their goal is to really be profitable. Honestly, I, I don't know that. I, I think if a, if, a, if an administration comes in, a president, whoever comes in and says, oh, we're going to get this into the red this year, which ironically means in the good. Um, but like, you know, if, uh, if somebody cut costs and did that and we may, I feel like there's a lot of areas that would be, you know, like, well, why didn't we get any love? You know, you got all this money you're making. Why didn't we see any of it? You know? And so I think that the money is always spent, but it, it, but what I'm getting at here is, is that not only have they not made a profit, but they've actually had to borrow or create money according to this information. And over the last like 40 years, I think it was 40, the US has only been in the profit column twice. And it was like 28 years, 30 years ago. Um, and and all those other years, it was like borrow, 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 or create, like print, print, print. Which, you know, when we print, it changes the value of our dollar globally. Uh, and, and then eventually that trickles down and hits us too. I, I'm no, I, I probably have no idea what I'm talking about, honestly. But like I said, from this graphic I saw and this information I was reading, it was like, like, uh, I mean, yeah, if we're literally, I mean, think about it. If you as a person just borrowed money every day and you never had any incoming money or maybe you did have and you just used it in other places, right? And you just kept borrowing more and more money. I mean, at some point, I mean, we're talking trillions of dollars too, not like a couple of pennies in the cushion, like, that's scary to think that like that's what's happening. I mean, how do you how do you change that? How do you change that? You know, I mean, we're in such an impulse by status. You know, I'm guilty. You know, new games come out, bye bye bye. New console come out, bye bye bye. Electric vehicle comes out, bye bye bye. You know, I mean, I, I'm I'm no different. I'm I'm not. But I don't know how how these patterns change. Like a lot of people were saying that don't drive so much gas and and it'll, you know don't use so much and it'll build up on their production and they'll have to liquidate and they'll sell it at lower prices which will come back to us i don't know if that's true or not let's all park for a week see what happens i mean but the problem is if only the 18 to 25 people that hear me say that do it it's not enough to impact so i don't you know and obviously who could park their car for a week and not drive? I mean, so I, I don't know how you change any of this but it's certainly uh, scary times in a lot of ways, but also, you know, there's a lot of good out there too. And that, I think that's another thing that I think if more people focused on the good instead of dwelling, like, I mean, no offense, but like what in the hell do we have reports by the minute, by the hour about a marital dispute case? Like, why is there a, a direct line that anybody can get any of the information of this personal relationship? And why is that nightly news for so many outlets? But yet, like, the people who are doing good don't necessarily make it, right? Like, uh, what's the new le what's the new Lego set? What what what? Uh, Florida, uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah, new Lego set. I guess you said for me earlier, being a consumer, new Lego set, bye, bye, bye. Yeah, I still don't even have my Optimus Primes and I've already made another order, which is bad. Like I sort of have a, a pact with myself that like I won't order more Lego until at least my other Lego shows up. Nah, that didn't happen this time. Didn't happen at all. That starry night though, I, I had to, because it was sold out and uh, I didn't know if my local Lego shop had it or not. And it, like I said, it's an hour drive. And I mean, it's it's a good 60 miles from my house. So I mean, even at 45 miles to the gallon in the Prius, which I wouldn't want to drive myself, um, you know, that's still, you know, 120 miles. That's at least 10 to $15, right? Of gas just to get there. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy.
Yeah, I know that once we get our electric vehicle, like, it'll be weird driving other cars. Like, especially my car. Like, I'm going to feel guilty about how much it costs. So, I, I don't know. We've legit talked about, you know, if we sold the Audi and my car, and then we put a couple of couple of thousand that we've been saving for the house but if we put like you know three to five thousand probably i think so if we sold my car sold the audi and then put a couple grand in we'd be pretty much in the same boat with both of our evs you know so like we would only owe about 10 grand we'd owe 20 grand on two brand new evs but i don't know we'd end up paying somewhere between the four hundred dollars a month but i mean if you're not paying gas and if gas is going to be four hundred dollars a month plus the car payment right i mean i guess we almost own the, the crv we have i don't know eight to ten payments left we might own it by the time we get our ev because it still hasn't even gone into production yet um, and i don't know how long that stuff takes like we were told six to nine months from the time we reserve and it's been a month and a half already but we haven't even gotten an official order in yet. And then once that happens, it, the next step is the goes into production. But I don't know if that, like, as soon as the order goes in, it goes in the next day. Or if they have to wait for the color scheme to go in. Because I don't know how they do it. Like, all, all of the bodies are probably made the same. But then they probably go down a paint line. And maybe they have a paint line for every color. That would seem like that would be a decent thing, but they probably just changed the paint for each line, and it probably just goes down the same. as I don't know. I, I'm not sure how they automate those things. Uh, but I know that once it gets built, which is probably going to take a couple of days slash couple of weeks, I would think, from start to finish, uh, then it's got to get on a boat and float its way to the U.S., and then I don't know where it would dock, like where it comes from, like where it would dock. So then it's got to be transported, likely via truck, from the dock to the dealership. And then that's when we would pick it up. So, uh, let's see here. I'd love to have the Lego Ghostbusters fire. Yeah, that would be dope. Yes, yes. Um, I unfortunately never picked that one up. I usually am pretty good about some of those nostalgic ones, like... You know, I got a lot of the other stuff like the uh, the Back to the Future original sets. I got the new ones too, um, and then the uh, like the Wallies. Those were pretty, you know, pretty fun. Uh, I did pick up a Big Bang Theory, which is not really nostalgic yet, but will be kind of. I mean, that show started a long time ago, but it's only been off the air for a couple of years, or maybe only I don't know how long. It's not very long though. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some value in some of those sets. Like, I wonder, like, the Tall Neck, you know, Horizon, the, the Horizon Lego set. I, you know, I wonder, will it have value? Like, there's so many things that I wonder, will the new Back to the Future hold its value like the old one? I mean, honestly, the old one was a $40 set when it came out, and now it's worth over 200 Which, I mean, percentage-wise, for the investment, it's huge. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, forty dollars turned into two hundred isn't going to allow me to retire next month, um, you know. So, if if it's that we're looking at, it's all about volume more than anything. And I mean, I guess at the end of the day, right now, I don't have that money that I've spent on all that Lego. So to get it all at once, it would be a nice big chunk. But, I mean, overall investments, I don't know how much money I'm really making on these boxes that I'd keep in pristine and sealed away in a temperature-controlled room, smoke-free and all that, right? Like, um, because in 10 years, you know, 15, 20 years, them sets could be worth hundreds each, if not thousands. But, again, you have to find the right people. And right now, if everyone's paying $10 a gallon for gas, ain't nobody wanting to buy no Lego sets, right? I mean... The days of Lego purchasing may be coming to an end, which right now it's at its fullest production. Like they're doing so many things. They have so many partner deals, so many IPs to choose from. Like, I mean, there's hardly anything. Hey, Drex, what are you doing, buddy? You wanna say hi? Come up here, come on. I don't have a treat, but say hi to everybody.
Yeah, get it. Get it. Crazy Drex. Yeah, I just saw a reminder post come through. It's been a year ago since I picked up a Mario set and the Lego Adidas shoes. You guys remember those Adidas? They had the shell toes. Three stripes. I got a couple of those. I, I didn't realize it at the time. I bought, bought two so that um, I could build one and then keep one away, which is what I always do, and then I never build the, the one I intend to build. Uh, but it turns out you can build a left and a right shoe. So I technically have a, a true pair. I have a left and a right. They give you the options in the bricks. They give you an extra bag so you can choose. Like, since I have two sets, I could legit build two lefts or two rights, uh, which would make a lot of sense to do, but, um, but I technically could. It's just cool how they do it. Uh, Lego sandals. It depends on how those would work. I could see a set being like a style factor and being fun and and mildly hard on the feet. And I could also see it like being like broken glass and glued together, not put together and actually being like, you know, stepping on a bed of nails or something. That'd be the worst. We were 96. So we are almost done with this. One. Nice. D-Man's chilling. I uh, just watched your Dynasty Downer vid. Uh, right on. Glad we could help out. What is up? Welcome to the stream, Cece. It's always fun when you guys uh, are watching, like, you know, older videos, especially videos from, like, five, six, seven, eight, ten years ago. And then you're like, oh, wow, look at that. He's live right now. And then, boom, you get to come in and join and... and you probably get to hear a difference in my voice because I'm like, you know, sometimes 10 years older than I was when you just listened to me 30 seconds ago. So what I'm trying to say is, yes, time travel is real. Uh, I've proved it by you watching my old videos, hearing the young Brian, and then showing up and hearing the old Brian. He didn't find it very funny. <laughs> woot, woot. All right, Drax, we're almost done with this contract, bro. You want to help me choose the next one? If I took you along on the job, you would sniff and probably mark every single bush and blade of grass. So I'm glad this isn't a real thing. Finish? Finish? Oh, come on. Okay, so I missed something somewhere. There's probably like a small patch on the backside of a tree. Oh, there it is right there. Oops. I thought I lifted that up already. Alright, let's get it. Oh, man, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make this work in my head. I was just at 99%, right? I was trying to have something like, and I wouldn't mow 99. And then I, but I couldn't figure out how to, to make it work. But then I was thinking for like that, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, I'd be like, I string trim, I string trim. But I couldn't, I couldn't quite come up with the full rhyme to make it work. I'll work on that for next week. I wouldn't mow just 1999. I'd mow all the way. I string trim, I string trim, I string trim. No. Even my mower is knowing me. What is going on? Jeez. And here I thought I had a little bit of humor going on. I'm getting clowned by my virtual me. <laughs> Boo. All right. Bubble pay me, please. We should probably do some maintenance. Ooh, he agrees. 
The Drex approves. Yeah, how are we doing? What are you after? What do you need? Hmm? You're just just off camera half. Like half of you's on, half of you's off. What do you want to say to everybody? Anything? You want to say hi to everybody? This right here is the microphone. You say hi to this. They can see you from up there, that blue light. I'm sure you understand everything I'm saying to you right now, too. Shorty wanna drex, 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 drex. No? Let it get up and bark. Usually he sings with me. Uh, yep. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. All right, let's go ahead and get our full repair on. Full repair. And full repair. You're going to have to wait to go out, buddy. It's going to be uh, roughly another an hour or so. You should be good. You just went out. It's like, I saw a squirrel. You understand what I, I'm like dying in here because I need that squirrel. All right. So I got a really small one that I'm going to bust out real quick. Again, I'm trying to get some of these contracts completed because I want to get the days done. Because now I will be able to uh, buy another mower and, and employ another person. So. Uh, baby steps. Yeah, I know. He, he definitely gives me that look more often than I would prefer. We have a good, we have a good understanding though. He's, uh, he and I, especially the last couple of weeks with us going on the W A L K's, um, you know, he's leaning to me more like, you know, he's always been like a mama's boy. And um, now he's definitely spending more time up here while I'm working, even, you know, on and off stream stuff. Um, and just overall, just being a good boy and a good listener. Uh, let's see here, 550. So we have to go six, drop it like it's hot. And, I, and I, he might have like a, another situation going on where I have to go take him out in a second, but I'm gonna try to let it ride. Let's see if he will, uh, Accept his fate of waiting. When he does his really high pitch yawn thing, though, where he goes, it usually means he has to go to the bathroom. I, I don't, I don't know why he does that. Like if he's like, like bro, bro, you know, like or if it's just like a natural thing. If lots of dogs do it, if it's a breed thing, I, I don't, I couldn't tell you. But I can tell you that consistently when he does that, that generally means he has to go outside. All right. So this is a show day. We're already 5% done. Look at that ticker going up. 5.5. 5.7. So I keep waiting for some news on that unannounced TT Games game. I know we've been talking about it in the Discord a little bit, and I've had to clarify a couple people, like, uh, have messaged me, like, eh, was one of them, actually, that messaged me in, uh, a, like, a LEGO Star Wars video, and then we talked about it and chatted in, in a stream, too, but... Um, you know, just to clarify, that game is Brawls is not being developed by TT Games, which means that there is another game that they are working on. And and just to clarify too, like I don't know what the future of TT Games looks like once they're done working on this last game. The studio may dissolve, and it may all they may all go to some somewhere else, or they may all turn into 1010 games or studios or whatever um they may keep working on other lego titles they may also not get another contract but i you know a lot of people are under the impression that like tt only has one more game well in, in a roundabout way that could be true but i mean technically there's no wording i don't think that we've seen that says that they're moving away from them it's just the exclusivity to them 
it's just like you know there are some franchises and 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 movie actors that sign contracts to be in a big role in a movie or a show but often like for example when you take a role on a tv show there's almost always a clause in the contract that says hey while you're working on this show you're gonna make this show your priority you will not work on other shows some actors have you know some better contracts that allow them to maybe you know work on some outside projects and and the more we get into like the future um the less I think that the restrictions apply, but I think most people know how hard it is, how time consuming it is to be in a full on production like that and then expect to jump ship and then go for the summer to over here, whatever, while you're on break. And it's just it's exhausting too. like not everybody wants to work every single day of every year. So um, two games have left other come 10 tennis. Yes. Uh, you know, ultimately, I- I'm sure that there's been a lot of devs that we don't even know that have left too but the ones that have announced the majority of them did go like the ones that meet that 10 year or 10 game criteria working at tt have moved to 10 10 so i almost feel like that's like a like a higher studio right like it's a like they're gonna perfect the new engine and move forward with all this stuff and Maybe the old TT games will work on remasters or something. And that might be what it is, too. Like, we might be getting, like, a remaster of, like, the Batmans or, you know, both indies. Or, you know, indies got a new movie coming out. So maybe they're doing a remaster, getting ahead, prepping for that. Because guess what? I'm pretty sure that the the, uh, Indiana Jones franchise is owned by the same people that own Star Wars. So if you had a good experience and, and, and the game has good reviews and whatnot why wouldn't you want to double down on your profiting and do that so i mean listen i have no idea if it's lego indie or not it would be really cool if it was and it included you know remastering of the old ones with maybe a new version or maybe they're redoing the whole game like they did skywalker you know to to redo the movies and break them down over the all of them because one was what just one or maybe one and two and then, and then, um, I can't remember if it was just one or one and two. I feel like it was just one. Or was it multiple movies? It might have been a couple of them. Might have, I don't know. It's been a while. Yeah, Harrison Ford has been uh, working on it for a while now. Um, yes, there is definitely a new Indiana Jones movie coming out. I don't think there's a date for it yet. My guess is it's probably going to be like 23 or 24, like down the road type of stuff. But yeah, it's definitely in the in the works. There's a lot of stuff in the works. Um, you know, uh, what, what's the? There was another one. I was just telling my wife about it last night. I was like, "Hey, did you know that they're doing a movie?" And she was like, "No way!" Can't remember what it was though. Something relatively freshly announced. But um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the works. Um, yeah, like I'm excited for that that '90s show too. Bringing back a majority of that '70s show cast. Um, you know, with an updated scenario and, and you know, kind of catch, catching us up. I'm sure there'll be tons of, like, flashback behavior, right? Like, oh, hey, remember that time when we did this? And then we'll probably get some from the show and probably some new scenes from the 80s and, like, you know, when, when the uh, the baby was born. Because the show supposed to be mainly focused on um, Eric Foreman and Donna Penciati's baby. So, Donna, I don't know if they get married or not. Like, I don't, there's a lot of details I don't know. But um, there's a lot of things coming up that I'm looking forward to. Let's see here. Yeah, the Willow TV series. That's another thing, too. Yeah, that's coming to Disney Plus. Um, Indiana Jones. Okay, so cool. 2023 for Indy. Indy 5. You know, uh, the Crystal Skull got a lot of hate. To be honest with you, I feel like I only watched it like once or twice. As I've always said, like I don't find myself hating on movies or franchises. Like I'm not a nitpicky like, oh my god, they chose the wrong guy to fight. You know, like I, I don't really find myself doing that. And sorry if I just totally sounded like you. Um, but you know, ultimately, I feel like I'm gonna be excited with it no matter what. Now, if they had somebody else. Like, one thing I don't like is when they character switch and they try to pretend like it didn't happen. Like, if Harrison Ford would have replaced with, like, Danny DeVito or something, right? And they, like, act like it's the same guy and nothing happened. Like, I can't. 
I have a hard time with that. Like that Spartacus show that was on Stars 10 years ago, loved it. Dude developed cancer in season two and died. And they tried to move on with the show into season three with a new guy. And I mean, you know, they casted a likeness, but it wasn't that. Li- it was really tough. And and I don't know if it was the OCD in me or what, but I was like, nope, not watching this. This show is over. You know, it died when he died, you know, and so, so I, I do struggle sometimes with that. But that doesn't happen very often. Um, I'm trying to think of the last time that really happened. Like when they replaced Becky on Roseanne. It's like, what the crap? Um, yes, Warwick Davis is, in fact, a part of it, too, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so if you don't got Disney Plus, Connie, you're going to want to add that to your wish list soon. Uh, I don't know when that starts. They actually just announced, too. Kirsten, did you see the new mini series? It's supposed to be six short episodes of I Am Groot. I don't know what that means. If they're like 30 second spots, 90 second spots, 30 minute shows. But there's a new I Am Groot series that was just announced. I think it's going to be like the the Mater Tales that that they did where they, they're like three to five minutes long. You know, and they just tell like little random stories or build up on stuff that you already knew a little bit about, but maybe getting fine detail on. Yes, broke more news to Kirsten. Love it. Usually she and I see the same things at like the same time. And then one of us will be like, hey, did you see that? And we're like, yeah, we saw it. Well, oh, you know, and then, and then the next time it's like, I'm the one that, you know, didn't see it. So it's back and forth and back and forth. But no, it looks uh, it looks interesting. I, I, I think it was just announced yesterday. Drexler's barking. Hold on a hot second. So our, our neighbors have two little, I don't know what they are. They're, they're uh, maybe Bashans or however you say it. They're, they're, they're smaller dogs, you know, like uh, you know, probably, uh, you know, 10 pounders, <laughs> little guys. And uh, they used to have a whole bunch of them. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I can theorize what happened, but uh, it appears as though they are down to two now. And I think they had four or five at one point. And uh, anyways, any time they come out on the back or, re- or Drex goes out on the back, they always have to check for each other. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. You know, and, and then one will usually hear and then the other one. Will, so they, I can hear him barking in their house sometimes and Drex will be out back barking at them in there or vice versa. Like right now, Drex is in the house and they're out back and they're barking outside and Drex is in the house barking at them. Um, pretty funny. Well, Connie, I mean, if you can stop by once a week or so and get caught up on all the stuff. Usually we, uh, usually we know, we in the know, and if we're not, you know, somebody else is. <laughs> I know, real life first, uh, it's not always easy to stop, and, you know, timing is definitely a, a hard thing these days. Especially if you're like me, and you like to stick to schedules and stuff, like, you know, I try so hard not to work, like, once my wife gets home. And sometimes, like, I really am enjoying the fact that she has to work late or has a nail appointment or whatever that prevents her from being home right away because I can get some extra work done. But then there's other days where I'm, like, done with work. And then, you know, she usually gets home about an hour, hour and a half after I am theoretically wrapping things up, um, you know, stream-wise. But then projects can always go three, four, five hours long, too, if I let it. Um, But I try not to work when she's home. And she tries to do the same. Like, that's just kind of one of our things that we sort of promise to each other. Because, you know, especially with my work, like, it, it's endless. And I, I could be working on something every day of every month. And, and with mine, too, the, the more I do, the more in theory it helps me. That's not always the case. Like, the harder I go, like if I upload 10 videos every day instead of one, you know, for 10 days or something, I, I, I don't know... I feel like it usually benefits me to slow down just because the abundance sort of overwhelms the viewers and some of the videos get lost in the shuffle. But um, 
you know, ultimately, I pretty much need to upload consistently or I see my numbers drop off. And it's just like if you don't go to work, right? Like if, if you work five days a week and then all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I'm just going to work four days a week. Hey, boss, I'm only going to work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday or, you know, Monday through Thursday or whatever. Like, it's nice to have Friday off, but it's like then, then when paid day comes, you're like, oh, I forgot I was taking Fridays off. And, you know, and then it sort of adds up. So, like. The balance for me in the summer is really tough because I try not to work when she's home, but she's home the whole summer. So, uh, you know, we have a pretty good understanding of, of how things go. And, and um, you know, she's got lots of projects and things that she likes doing. She has all these little hobbies and such. So um, it works out pretty good for, for me streaming. And uh, But just know that I won't be doing a lot of uh, long streams or extra bonus ones, uh, you know, for the next couple of months. In fact... Uh, especially when we go to like Eagle Crest and stuff, there will likely be no streams for a week. Uh, I'm gonna try to work it out so that I have some sort of content because uh, it's I, I, and, and over the years, even if it was every other day, if not every day or most days that I was gone, I've always had content releasing while I was gone. You know, one year it was like Lego City. Uh, one year it was Lego Ninjago movie. Uh, you know, just the way things work out. And and as it sits. It looks like I'll still be working on the free roam by the time we go to Eagle Crest at the rate that I plan on doing it. Like, I could not stream again and go back to the no streams and probably get it done in, you know, three, four weeks, not going nuts trying to do it. Um, you know, doing like two to three, a, you know, well, at least one a day. One a day would probably take me about a month to do because there's 24 planets and... You know, yeah, so it would take me about a month and a half, probably. Uh, but I'm not going to... I'd rather stream. I don't find the Free Roam videos to be, like, the big hitters, either. They definitely get viewed. But I think, uh, especially with this one, I, I don't know that it's even going to be a needed thing. I'm going to do it, because why not? But, um, you know, ultimately, I don't know how many people are really needing like the free plays. You know, there was quite a few. And, and, you know, like Kirsten and others have said, there's an occasional grapple point or target, you know, for a shooting gallery or something that um, is hard to find or not that obvious. Um, and there's certain tips and tricks, too. Like one of the things that I did on my the free roam level that I've recorded already that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, there was a shooting section. It had three targets, and you needed to hit all three within a certain time frame, which I'm sure there's going to be lots of those. Well, I had Darth Vader out, and I was literally trying to clear the crap in front of it, hiding the targets. So I used the force, just the tap that just destroys everything versus picking it up, you know? And I, I my first attempt... I nailed the first target and I looked sort of in between the next two targets to, again, just clear out the path. Boom, it hit both targets. It didn't even clear out everything. So sometimes you could even use the force to hit those targets versus trying to shoot accurately with a gun or a blaster, right? Uh, let's see here, airport, wait, airport heights gaming. Did I read that right? What's up? I'm currently watching all your Lego Harry Potter. Just wanted to say thanks for amazing content from seven years ago. No, it's awesome. I love that videos that we created, you know, almost a decade ago are still being used on the daily. Our Harry Potter is still one of the most viewed videos on average. I mean, we get, especially like the, you know, like, like the preparing for free play type stuff, like the dark arts wizard stuff, like those videos, I mean, those are getting three, four, five hundred 500 views every single day still. Which is crazy to think that, like, every day, those are still getting hundreds of views. Hundreds. And, you know, grand scheme of things, YouTube views and everything, that's not a lot. But, I mean, as far as our numbers go, that's what's keeping us afloat. A lot of it's the old school Harry Potter. Right now, LEGO DC Super Villains is still really popular because a couple months back, the PlayStation Plus people got the free one. And plus, it's been on sale for, you know, 5 to $20.00. For I don't know how many months um, so a lot of people have picked it up at some point and are just getting to it or you know uh, what, whatever so uh, you know definitely and, and I know Star Wars the, the, the Skywalker saga is going to be that way too like I was talking to my uncle about it he was like how's the YouTube life going and it's like you know it's not amazing right now and you know in theory it should be the best it's been in three years but really the new Lego game didn't really 
swing much in our favor right now. I said, but the good news is, is it's one of those games that's going to be viewed for probably five to ten years on a pretty heavy path. So, you know, starting now, it'll probably start getting 100 views or so every couple of days, and then it'll become 100 views a day, and and then not for too long, you know, that all that adds up, especially if you add it up over ten years, you know, right? So that's the only reason why we're really still able to continue to do this. Like, for whatever reason, our daily viewership does not really match our full subscriber base, right? Like, we have 170-something thousand, and, you know, we struggle to get 25 on average in our streams. Um, you know, I've tried different times, so it's not necessarily a time-related thing. I mean, it is in some people's cases, but, uh, you know, overall, it's just one of those things. And... Um, you know, we're not a heavy, big streamer like, you know, I, I don't think Ninja's at the top of the list anymore, but he does probably still have a really high following, and uh, there's definitely other people streaming on the reg. It's hard to keep up. You know, and all these people that are just starting YouTube channels, you know, having some immediate success is awesome. I wish them the best for long term, because it's hard to sustain. Hey, Frank, what up? Welcome to the stream. Looks like I might have skipped over you when saying hi to airport first. All right, so this is getting to be kind of a cheeky shape here. It's a lot of back and forthies. Let's see if I can sort of straighten this out here. A wee bit. Man, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's cooking some food. For, for food? You know who we haven't seen drop a first in the chat yet today is Gray. We're getting pretty close to the end. He must have worked a double today. You know, I was saying that earlier that his shifts often, um, you know, he was off work for a while due to an injury and a surgery and a rehab um, for quite a few months. And uh, now he's back at it. And because of his current status, he's he's actually transferred to a different department. And unfortunately, you know, you know, it is your low man on the totem pole. So uh, the shifts don't prioritize to him. And um, but he has lots of opportunity because a lot of people aren't showing up for work and stuff, too. And so he's like, money, 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 money. I'll take it. So he's worked a lot of doubles in the last couple of weeks. Um, I don't know if he's trying to catch up on all the hours he missed while he was out or <laughs> or what, but uh, ultimately uh, we haven't seen a lot of him. Even he and I just chatting on, you know, social media and Skype and stuff, like we don't nearly talk as much as we used to. You know, it used to be half hour to hours every day, and now it's like we drop some memes back and forth and then move on. Real life first, bro. Real life first. You haven't talked to Kim much, but, um, you know, I, as far as I know, he's doing well. I, I know Gray's doing well. Uh, Gray shared a video a couple hours ago. looked like he was at a show or something. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen anything on social media from him today. Uh, I, he was sending me videos the other day of him at work, so I got to see, like, big slabs of metal and stuff that these cranes were moving, and he was just kind of chilling, waiting to for, you know, the next step to happen so he could process and start moving some other crates and things around. Um, yeah, I figured as much, Kirsten. Yeah, and, and uh, good for him. I know he's been working a lot, so hopefully he's getting some uh, some fun time in, too. So here's a question. Should I just leave this patch? It says I'm done. But, I mean, I feel like I should finish it. My reputation might go down if I, I don't. I don't know if it even can measure that. That negatively affects you or not. So we'll just go ahead and zap it up. All right, now we got to figure out which way do we go. Is it right ahead of us? No. There we go. Kim joined Belgium streaming group who streams on Twitch. Hmm. Okay. And he's like a streamer now? Or he's just following a group on Twitch, thus replacing us? I mean, no wrong answer there. I'm just curious what that means. 
All right, and we out of there. <sighs> Vehicle maintenance 274. What? Part of a Twitch streamer's stream. So he's like a mod or something of that sort, like helping out. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. How many days do we have left on our building? So it's plus one base upgraded time one day. Is that left upgrade time one day? Huh? I don't know if I'm reading that right. It says in progress. Hmm. Well, hopefully I feel like I've mowed a couple lawns. So I've mowed one, two, at least three. It was supposed to be five days. One more day would be only four. Mathematically, this isn't adding up at all. Um, I guess I won't focus on it too much. What do we got? 30 minutes before proposed time shutdown. $30. So this is just a, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the little dogs barking now. Uh, this is just a, uh... wait, okay, employee, confirm contract. Okay, this is just a litter pickup. So this one's real quick. Yeah, it's sort of muggy. It's been muggy and, and uh, kind of gross here for walks too, Chacho. I've been trying to go as early as possible. Like on the weekends, I've been going early. However, I blew my back out last week and last Monday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, it started getting a little better. And then I tweaked it again, did some. I don't know what I did, but um, in the end, I was hurting pretty bad for all weekend. Like I could barely move. Um I'm doing better today. I definitely woke up. I've been, like I said, though, I've been crunching a lot of those muscle relaxers to get me through it. Because, especially sleeping, I noticed that if I have a a really pinched nerve or something's out of whack in my back, if I don't sleep, if I toss and turn, it just seems to make it worse. If I get a really good night's sleep and like I don't move, I feel like my back sort of gets some time to not have to deal with itself. Um. And so one more. Boy, this is a quick one. And so, uh, you know, hopefully one or two more days I'll be back to quote-unquote normal. Um, which has been pretty good for me lately. The last couple of years I've been less active, but when I have been I've stretched and I've done things that have actually sort of prevented me from... Uh, you know, let's see here. It's definitely good you don't stream on Twitch. You showed me a feature where people in chat can type this command that makes random sounds. Which yeah, yeah, no, there's a lot of stuff. That's why, um, like, why isn't it letting me leave? Oh, I have to press and hold. Um, you know, when Nam does, like, the, uh, uh, the exclamation point, and, like, those are all commands that come from Twitch stream type stuff. So, hey, look at that. Mighty Mowing Park Ranger. Complete your first park contract. Okay. Seems like I should have had that a while ago. Uh, where there's muck, there's brass. Complete... What's that one? Holy cow. Aggressive expansion. Okay, what does that mean? I wonder if I finished my... Uh... So that's part contract. Expansion. Upgrade a company HQ. So maybe that one day was one day left. It still doesn't make any sense, though. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hire your first employee. See, I did this last week, but I don't have an employee right now. Blade Runner, total uh, sprint total. Okay, I uh, got that. Driving total 100 miles. I'm 22. So I've driven 22 miles. That's crazy. Um, what's the other one that I got? I got another one, didn't I? Maybe it was up top. Well, whatever the case is. Aggressive expansion sizes. I got that one. Where there's muck, there's brass. Complete a litter contract. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Adverts, social media, Tayfetti. And we're just going to keep pushing that until we's the most popular guys on the planet. Um, all right, so let's see here. It's 97 here. But, uh, let's see what the champ is here. Reese is out in 15 minutes. Uh, let's see here. 
weather. It says 59 last time. 62 right now here. So it's still pretty chilly. Yeah, I haven't been able to go on walks, though, due to my back. Like, I'm not going to push it today either. Like, I really want to for my sake and the dog's sake, but um, I, I just don't want to end up going backwards because that's where I was. I think I, I felt like I was all good and fine. And then I went for this really long walk up the hill and about halfway, I was like, man, my calves are killing me. And the wife's like, do you want to turn around? I was like, no, let's keep going. And we went and did our full walk. And I, by the time I got home, I was like, man, my back is really killing me. I don't even know what to do. And, and it just got worse and worse and worse. And so, um, anyways, not trying to grape. Five objects. Four more. So I'm going to try to bust this one out quick style. I know there's some terrain that's going to be requiring some slow mo, but. Come oh, on, where's the last one? Where's the last one? To find them all. To find them all. Yep. I'm going to say it's got to be right in here because I've searched everywhere else. Start your engines! And let's see here. Five to six. It smells like the leftover spaghetti got heated up. That's what I'll eat if, it, if I'm... If there's any left. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Like, I barely tapped. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ow, Chase. Okay. So I'm like stuck on a bush. These corners are tricky. Oh my goodness. Blinded by the tree. Bad at mowing. He, 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 he. Oh my goodness. Tree, tree, go away. That's the worst. I might have to use another view for this level. Again, where I wish I could hire my arborist to come and trim. Oh my, Mo Ramrod there. Whoopsie. So I'm already 5%, two minutes. I'll be able to go a little faster once I get this outline. Da -da -da -dun -did. Although it's not the greatest I've ever done, it should get me a uh, high enough percentage that I might not even need the string trim. Although that little area right there is gonna need some, some touch up. I would imagine. Yeah, how did you like Mass Effect, Kirsten? I, I remember playing that game at one point, like in a demo or a beta or something, and being super excited because it was cooperative. Uh, at least three, three is. I'm not sure which one you're playing, if it's all part of the same thing or whatever, but uh, I don't know why. I just didn't like the aiming. I didn't like the cover. I didn't like... Like, I just really got a bad taste, and I, like, walked away from it and never, ever gave it another chance. Um, I've had some people tell me that it's, like, Robert said that he thinks I would like it, but, um, yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, I'm sure I'll never go play. If they come out with a new one, I, I, I might check that one out, and then if I really loved it, I might go back. But um, at this point, I don't have any plans to play. I'm just curious if you liked it or not. I mean, you're sort of like me in the sense that, like, uh, y you don't need a lot of stuff to 
be perfect or whatever. Like, you don't want a broken game or anything, but you're easy to, uh, pleasey to. Ooh, only X to run. That's like, it's like, uh, yeah. That's one of my complaints about some games. Like, Assassin's Creed I never really liked because of the R1 being the climb button and stuff. Like, I, I would imagine by now you can probably remap a lot of that stuff, but... Or maybe they've even changed it. Even, like, the early, the Resident Evil 4, uh, I'm pretty sure run... Or, no, shooting is X. I'm pretty sure shooting is X. But... What do you say in Revenge of the Sith story mode? Finally complete. Nice. Noise. Yeah, see, some of those control schemes literally can break the fun for me. Some of them I can get used to, too. Like the original, there was two SOCOM. Uh, one was called Precision, and one was called Sure Shot. And those were like the defaults, and... and you know, some people loved one, some people hated it, you know, and, and so uh, I remember having a lot of arguments. It's like left-handed, right-handed kind of thing, right? Like, what's better, left or right? Uh, but, anyways. Hey, Nick the Sweep? Sheep. Not, not a W, an H. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Hopefully you see we're live right now. Chickadee, chickadee, chickadee. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. You guys ever watch Trailer Park Boys? There's this couple episodes where Randy's hearing the birds and he thinks they're saying cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. <laughs> it's pretty funny. What is going on here? Uh, story mode done. All right. Nice. Yeah, that game is definitely a, uh, a time consumer. I don't find it bad. It's just, uh, it's, it's a time sucker for sure. So much to do. <clears throat> so much of it's repetitive too. You know, like climbing up and gliding off to get a brick or using the net launcher to climb up a two story thing. And a lot, of, so much is, a lot of it's super easy and repetitive, but uh, there's definitely those doozers out there that uh, make it hard. Uh, whoa, what up, Nick? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the sub too. We just saw you sub. Um, let's see here. This game is all about mowing the lawns, getting them backyards all nice and purty. You get to uh, run your own lawn mowing company. Uh, you get to hire other people to take on other contracts and jobs with you. Sadly, there is no cooperative mode to this game yet, but I feel like if they get a sequel to it, there likely will be some cooperative play. It'd be fun to be able to like mode at the like two people mowing in the yard at the same time, or being able to take on different contracts too, right? Like, it'd be really fun. Let's see here, Kanto Bite definitely has my favorite mount and race. Yeah. Because it's got the, um, the whatchamacallits, the, uh, the big tall, uh, what, I can't think of their names, but, uh, the, and, and, no, oh, what is it called? It's the things you ride on the, uh, side of the ship, too, at the end of that one story level. Right? What they, impacts or impacts? Um, I can't remember what they are. Old man, Brian, brain failed. All right. Ooh, this is gonna be like photo finish. I told Reese I'd I'd be done right at two. I gotta speed things up a little bit, I think. So far, I haven't run into but like one spot. I think it's this corner coming up right here. That's the the weird, wonky, like wet or uneven spot that I can't go like full Hammerstein on. 
Hey, it's lovely. Yeah, there you go. Fa the ears. Thank you. Fat hires. I think that's how you say it. Watching one of your tutorials. Nice. New or old? Is he watching like Skywalker Saga or is he watching like something prior to that? Glad we could help out. It's definitely what we're here for. We like to entertain too, but we're only mildly okay at that. <laughs> All right, we're creeping up on that halfway point. Yeah, it's gonna be really close, like really close. Get it, get it, go, go. Whoop, whoop, mo, mo. Sort of a wonky angle there, especially with that tree there. Really don't want to have to change my camera angle much, but I might have to. It was a quick turn there. That might have cost me some monies or something. I don't know. I did get another drink earlier. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Ooh, that was a big contrast. I went from like a sweet raspberry caffeinated drink to a sparkling water with no sugar or caffeine in it that was orange. So I went from raspberry to orange. Very different flavors. Very different. Chacho, I'm always ready for a nap. Don't feel bad. It's all good, bro. All right, so an expected 10 more minutes to finish this yard, give or take a little string trimming. And then we should be able to shut her down. Then, of course, tomorrow I'm going to work on some Lego Skywalker stuff off stream. And hopefully at least get one video, if not two, up tomorrow. Uh, whether or not I will publicly release the video or not, I, I, I'll probably release the... If I get Twanal or however the crap you say it, uh, I, I believe it's like TW. The UA sort of becomes a... Could be Tuanal, but I think it's Twanal. Um... So once I get that up, uh, I will hopefully get to the other level and get it scouted, if not recorded. And who knows? I might be able to get further than I think, and uh, that'll be great. But uh, I will probably release those videos on Saturdays for a while. Um, and if I get, like, a surplus and I'm 5, 10 videos ahead or whatever, knowing that I'm going to be gone for Eagle Crest, um, I'll probably keep a wrap on those until I get enough to confidently have a, at least a few videos to release while I'm gone so it doesn't look like I've bailed on the channel. Like, I just don't want that dormant activity. Plus, um, you know, of course, uh, like I was saying earlier, I definitely want to uh, make sure that we are consistently feeding you good stuff. Two on all. Yeah, I looked for some, like, wiki stuff, but uh, came up with Twanel. I, I, I don't know, like, at what point in the movies they would go there and talk about it, so I couldn't figure out anything. Uh, I'm sure there's some Google answers. I just don't know what the, the best way. Figuring it out sooner than later would be great, though, because uh, I'm going to be cutting the audio for the video tomorrow for sure. <laughs> so if I if I don't have to rat rata rata. Rat, 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 you know where I'm going with this. Uh, no need to mention it. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Getting a little crazy with my direction there.
Cheeseburg, cheeseburg, cheeseburg. Ratatouille. I'm surprised I haven't landed on that one during that rata. Laika? Laika? Loika? I'd like to know how to say that, right? Chickabee, chickabee, chickabee. My uncle's got a neighbor that's got a couple of peacocks. Boy, those things sound like animals are dying when they make noise. When I first heard it, I was like, ah, oh, what is that? I was like, oh, yeah, that's a peacock. <laughs> like, it's such a weird... <laughs> Sounds like something like uh, like my my wife at first thought it was at like a cat in heat or something, you know, because cats can make some pretty odd sounds too, especially when in heat. But uh, no, nah, it's just, just turned out to be the local the local peacock getting his peacocking on. Ooh, almost a fully double. Fully double. I've got this thing wooded right now. Pedal to the metal. Tunnel. <laughs> I don't know. We need some confirmation, though. We need to figure that out. Well, I do. <laughs> Where's Ben at? Ben would likely know that. Adam probably would, too. Where's Adam and Ben when you need them? Ben's like, Twitter duties have been fulfilled. I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoa. A little bit of a weird turn there. All right, creep it up on that 75. I don't think Adam was here today, Chacho. He might have been, but I don't remember him being here. It's very possible, but I don't think he was. Justin, what up, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, yeah, there is that too, Kirsten. Yes. Yes, there is the... Uh, the uh, potential adult way of saying it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I've tried to to not vocalize it in any way, shape or form that way. <laughs> Naughty Kirsten. made me wonder if that was supposed to be like a subliminal innuendo, right? Like, do instead of two. Maybe it was like you get some resistance from the wife and he's like, alright, if I drop this hint in a movie by naming a planet or an area on a planet, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sure that's not what it is. I'm sure it's not. But, I mean, you know, you never know what old Georgie wanted it to be. Too bad I'm not close with Mr. Lucas. I would just reach out and ask him, like, hey. When this word was created, did you, <laughs> you know, or, or what, what was going on there? Just see what he says. All right, pedal to the metal. I'm ripping. No way I'm getting this done in 20 flat, though. No way. Y 
Yeah, I think we need Ben or Adam. Or, or you know, there's probably others out there too that have that, oh, that Star Wars expertise. I know, I, I feel like Ben is really good with Star Wars, but I think that Marvel is, is, is maybe his quote unquote expertise. Well, I feel like Adam might have a little bit more Star Wars expertise, but I could be wrong. Maybe he's just really good at Google. I'm trying to think of who would know. I don't really have any like friends that are like more geeky than I am when it comes to Star Wars and stuff, so. You know, there's some true, you know, true, true, true fans out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I missed the 20 mark for sure. I knew it, though. Still got five minutes on my clock before two. Which is when I told Reese I'd be done and I'd be on my way. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 whether they're like the head producer or whatever, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly, but uh, that's pretty cool. Getting noticed by the pickpock developers, which uh, you know I wouldn't mind some some DLC to that game or perhaps a sequel, because it turns out that game's actually pretty old and it's been on Apple Arcade for a minute, um, like a couple of years, minute, but. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know why. I like those kind of arcadey, sort of retro-y, but like very upgraded and modern, you know, type of games. Come on, get your mo on, get your mo on. All right, I think we got like three more laps. Maybe three and a half. There's some jumpage right there. Like, the ground is not even, so, like, when I'm not turning, it turns for me. Hey, South Face! Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content! Almost done, dude. Oop. Definitely got some damage. Uh, I'm not sure Apex is happening Friday, Chacho. And I, I, <laughs> I'll do my best not to accidentally invite anybody. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I have not look that far ahead yet i gotta reach out to to everybody i don't know if, uh what paz's status is um i don't know if nom's gonna be available again either like i mean i might be back to uh you know ghostwire tokyo on friday which is I i'm fine with that i don't know how well it'll do or whatever but um it's just one of those games that i just for whatever reason just lack to play all right, I'm gonna cut it there. <laughs> see, what I, see what I did there? And we're gonna roll out. I like wanna ask on Twitter, like, all right guys, help me out. How do you pronounce this? But I know I'll get like lots of, you know, banter in return versus like actual legit <laughs> real responses right so uh we'll see how that goes but 
All right. So what's our money's up to? We we've uh, officially upgraded. That cost us 1500 euros. We've uh, paid for a couple of different advertisements. You can see there we're getting a lot of rep points there. So, uh, I mean, look at that. That's a couple, almost 500 right there. Let's see here. And ooh, weekly report. Let's go. Weekly profit. We made 13 bucks. Part of that was because I, one of my days I took a contract for litter and that was a low paying guy. But uh, so we're almost to establish rank five. In fact, 46 RP. That's not even one day's worth of uh, social media. And I'm not going to do anything beyond because last week I spent a bunch of time and money here and it didn't save it and count it. So I don't know if it was like the way I left. Maybe I think I just quit the game. And that's why, but I'm going to go ahead and save it there. But like it says I had five contracts done now. When I started today, it said I only had like one done. So I don't know what that means because I clearly did a bunch of contracts today. We did at least uh, one, two, we did two and then the litter and then the one after that. So that's four after break. And then we did the one before. So I guess I did five contracts today. I don't know why it would show only five, though. Like, it should be like 10 or seven or however many I've done. But I guess I won't worry about it too much. But uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Much love to you all, as per usual. Um, tomorrow is unlikely to be any kind of uh, live performances, but there will be uh, at least our free roam plans video will be released. And um, maybe, if you're lucky, I might even put up the first free roam to be access or... Uh, accessed via the playlist and the end screen links. And let's see here. Oh my God, I found something at howtopronounce.com. Uh-oh. Twannel. That's what I thought. So I was, that that my original assumption was maybe right? Because that's what I thought it was too. I, that's what my, because I knew it wasn't too, um, but I thought it might be Twannel, right? Twannel. But I know <laughs> to an L is probably not the right one. So anyways, hey, guys, uh, much love. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will be back Wednesday with some Agent Intercept as we're going to try to move closer towards that Platinum Trophy. We got uh, I think we got all the story done. And we're just working on the side quests now, which uh, will give us some data cards, I believe is what it was. Um, and then eventually, once we get all those, we should unlock. We got a, a fair amount of the trophies. Um yeah, we got 54%, and, and a handful of these are on their way, too. But, like, High Score Highway, we haven't completed that. That is a um, one of the score-based ones, and I haven't really done much of the time trials and all that. But, I mean, like, here, 75%. I've got most of those done. And then this is there's four missions with five tasks on each one, so there's 20 missions there or so to get that trophy. But, I, I mean, I was doing this in, like, half hour to an hour but they might get harder as time goes on. So we'll see. Um, and then I've got lots and lots and lots of leaderboard stuff, which those might be a little more time consuming. I'm hoping this is the last stream, not because of anything else other than um, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping this is we're going to wrap it up. And we'll be able to move on. There's a couple of games that are coming out soon. And also Wednesday might be our day to check out Evil Dead if we go that route. So uh, I'll talk to Robert some more and then kind of let the dominoes fall from there to see if it's even an option for us. And then I'll let you guys know. But hey, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. As always, head on over to social media or check us out at happythumbsgaming.com, which is the home of our trophy achievement guides and more. But uh, yeah, you know the drill, guys. As always, until next time. Woo!